not how I was expecting to, you know, spend my Sunday. <laughs> Ooh, say it again. Simba. <laughs> One more time. Simba. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. Simba. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> oh. Go on then. See for yourself. Simba is one. Here. The United States knows uh, about really? the secret lemur agenda. Yeah. I asked Merlin. To uh, no, himself. they don't. They have no idea. You know. And we need to keep we it that way, guys. We need to keep lights. it that way. Got to sell So, just uh, we'll we'll spring That's that on them when the time is right. I promise. <laughs> uh, but just keep that to yourselves for now. Everybody else in chat's gonna have to sit and wonder what that means. What? Well, they'll find out eventually. Nothing. I just. No! 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 I'm glad I could give you something nice for your last meal. Wait, what? The termites le- Oh no, it is her! It was her! Oh! Huh. It was Rezia! What does she do to me? Oh. Rezia, how dare you! I can understand that. I understand that. Grandma, I'm sorry. Grandma, but that's a big knife. Why do you have such a big freaking knife, Grandma? That's not normal. I will take you out, Grandma. I don't think I'm going to have to put you in a home for people with big knives is what I'm going to have to do. There's places like that. They have plenty of homes for people with big knives. Okay, I'm not gonna panic. I'm just gonna get back over there. Owie! Owie! Sonic paintball! I got paintballed out! Ow! Whoop! Oh, I forgot to do the thing! Oh, and then I went down a cliff! That's not how you do that. That is wrong. Yeah, well, this is not good. Oh no. <laughs> fine. Fine, Dolores. Fine. Be very, very quiet. Hold on. Be very, very quiet right now. Very quiet. It's kind of like. It's kind of like that scene out of, uh, like, Blair Witch right now, where I'm like, I think he's coming. I can hear him outside the door. I think he's right outside the door. <gasps> ah! All right, that's enough of that. Anyway. Oh, no, he's actually, like, literally right outside the door. No, wait, hold on. Maybe it is good against the flame type. I'm gonna say it doubled. Oh, I was right. I'm so good when you throw a rock at a bird, the bird stops moving. This is true. This is very true. Um, but but please don't throw rocks at, at birds, please don't. Well, unless they say something mean about your mom, then you're free to do so. Okay, I I, I know it's not funny, but it kind of is actually. It kind of is. <laughs> Oh god, okay, well that sucks for oh man, well uh, can I 
Can I move him? Poor Hamish. Oh, poor Hamish. He died by the pig, and here he lie by the pig. Forever shall he lie by pig. All right, you be good now, uh, Hamish's horse. Um, you be good. Okay, I'm going to search his saddlebag. This is probably... Ow! Okay, my bad. <laughs> Okay, there's still people. not on the screen why is that <laughs> what is happening hold on a second i'm missing why am i missing what the hell is it what is going on uh oh what happened where is you you're not operating that's why are you broken the fuck the character's gone my model's gone i don't know what happened Nothing works. Uh-oh. We got problems here. We got problems. We got problems. I gotta figure out what's going on. They won't even close! The apps won't even close! I'm screwed! I can't... What the fuck? They won't even close these two programs. They're, they're gone for good. They're gone forever. Are these working? Oh my god. What is going on? I can't close my programs to reopen them. <laughs> close! Just do it! Don't ask questions, just do! Okay, I don't know what's going on. Hold on a second. God damn it. Why do things have to be stupid? You know what? The, the prop. <sighs> I know why it's happening, because I'm an idiot. But I can't get rid of these programs! Ugh. The problem is, is when I start streams, I tuck my main PC's, like, keyboard away, so, because I don't think I need to use it, but apparently I do, because my computer doesn't know how to do this stuff on its own. That's the issue. Did that do it? Are you gone for good now, computer? Can I do the thing I need to do? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think part of it is because uh, I had to like update my freaking graphics card right before stream because of course it did. And then every time I open this damn thing, it's on the wrong side. I'll never understand any, I don't understand computers. Computers and me, we're not on the same page here guys. We're not on the same page. My computer and I don't understand each other. We're having issues. We're fighting. We're in fighting. It's very untoward. And like, for some reason, no matter how many times I like open this program over on this side, the computer's like, I don't care. I'm going to open over here on the other screen that you don't use. Doesn't make any sense. All right, hold on. I think we got this fixed. Maybe. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully say yes. Anyway. I don't know what happened there. I should be up on the screen. There I am. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Sorry about that. Computers being computers. Um, anyway, so hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a better start to your Tuesday. Not really start. This is more like the end of my Tuesday, but like, you know, hopefully you're having a better time than I am to start this day. But we're here back today playing some small saga. You can see it behind me there with the little mouse in front of the, the candle playing his part, doing his thing. It's Sir Verm, who's really not a knight. 
But I, I gotta say, guys, I'm loving this game. I really enjoy it. We'll talk about it a little bit more as to like why I'm loving this game. But I'm glad to be back kind of doing more of this because it has been such a good time. And um, I think this game is just so incredibly charming. Uh, hopefully we get to get pretty far in it, see like what's going on. Like there's a whole story there. We got through like a major part of it in Sky Garden and we took over the squirrels and everything like that. Now, a couple of things I want to say. Um, I haven't put out a correction to the schedule yet, but I will be. Um, I originally had uh, a Saturday stream with Spiritfarer planned for this week. I forgot I have a thing with work and I'm going to have to move that to Sunday. We're still going to do it, but it's going to be on Sunday instead of Saturday. So that is fine. Not a major change, but just something I want to put in mind. Um, I've made some updates to Theo recently. Uh, so he will respond less overall to chats and comment. I wanted to like reduce that a little bit because I think it can get a little played out, but I've also made him a little meaner. So if you want to see Theo be kind of a dick to you even more so than he normally is, now's your chance you've got an opportunity to see mean theo <laughs> uh i'm trying to make him more the personality that i want him to be that's kind of the plan we'll see how it goes i'm hoping it goes well but uh with all that being said i want to get to the game obviously the you know time we had fixing my model because it wasn't there for some reason uh but we'll get back to it and let's get to the game and let's play some fun stuff um i'm pretty sure i normally am over here for this so let's get going here we are i'm um, also playing this on keyboard today uh instead of controllers so let's see how that goes uh, i don't really know but it'll be interesting to see i think oh that's why they do it oh interesting i didn't really think that through because that's why they do it oh Okay, I understand. Nope. Maybe. Is that how they normally do it? Maybe. All right, let's do it. Let's let's set it up the way that it was because I was under the impression that it was like WSAD, but it isn't. Uh, and that is my mistake. I was incorrect about that. So let's go back to the way it was and get back to the game because I think we're ready to go. I'm in this place still. Remember the last time we uh, took on the Duke, we took on the big uh, Vor related stoat, uh, and it was great. Uh, this game has been so much fun every time I play it, so I'm always enchanted by it. Uh, Want to see something really quick? Um, let me turn this down just a smidgen. This game is a little louder than my normal affair, but that's okay. Anyway. I am doing the wrong thing. Anyway, so let's go. I forgot what we're doing. Probably just leaving, right? Ooh, that's a cool effect. But anyway, I was talking about it earlier. I was saying like, what makes this game so cool? And I think really it comes down to not the art style, which is great. Uh, not like the concept, uh, which is also great, but I find it so charming. And I think it comes down to the writing and characters. Everything about these guys is so amazing. And I love it. I love it. Um, the writing has been so unbelievably charming and it, it really plays to the characters and like you learn so much about these characters from their actions in the game and not necessarily like from exposition that they try and tell you about. And I think that's brilliant. Uh, I'm going back to the tree where the actual kingdom is because I feel like there was something we missed and I had a conversation with somebody earlier this week, uh, Jinsoku Kitsun, who told me there was something over here and I missed it I think maybe, did I miss it? All crispy your bacon 
I'll crispy your bacon. Welcome, crispy. <laughs> Perfect name for you. You can crisp that bacon all day long. I felt like someone said there was something over here. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm looking for a thing because I was told maybe there was something over here. But am I wrong? Very possible. Just vibing? Well, glad to hear it. Uh, that is a good thing. I feel like... I feel like there was something that I missed. I found out there was a lot of things we missed. Apparently, there's been a lot of things that we've missed. There's a lot of stuff. I love the flute guy in the mask. Oh, Bruce. Who doesn't love Bruce? Bruce is amazing. You're right about that. Bruce is amazing. I don't see nothing. All right, forget it. Let's get out of here. We're getting out of here. We're going to move on. I'm not going to... How do I run? Oh, there it is. Nope. There it is. Run. All right. Um, but yeah, no, Bruce is amazing. I love Bruce. What's over here? Oh. I forgot about you. Oh, they're running light traffic. You know how it is? The flocks are flapping and the gabbing and some loud noises over Sky Garden. You guys have an all night rave or something? Something like that. Nice, nice. Anyways, Marita, is it? Uh, it is. How did you know? Just figures. Uh, been taking rodents from Sky Garden to Marita all morning. First pair of knights, mouse knights, then some weirdo squirrel. But it didn't bother me. Hop in the basket and we're ready to go. Great. All aboard. But I love this game, Crispy. I really do. It's so good. It's so well written. And Bruce is amazing. Him and his little boyfriend, Anton? I think it's Anton. They're amazing. Both of them are great. Is that Mar No, that's Cran Bale. And this is the place I had gone to. Yes, that is the place I went to. I want to see if there's any... Ooh. Don't mind if I... Yes. I don't know where we are, but yes. Here we are. Some gods dwelling. What are we doing here? I smell paint. I see no gods around, but I'm just going to quickly nab some. Paint? Yeah, it's for a side quest. <laughs> Sir Firm? I thought we were on an important mission. We needed to go to Merida. Uh, should we really be doing side quests? Look, this job is nothing. It'll take me only a minute. If you say so, but uh, I won't help if you get into mischief. Okay. I guess that's the end of that conversation. Here we go. Uh, oh, nope. Do I have anything? I have points. I do have points. I didn't know that. Uh, well, good to know. Good to know. You, do you have points too? So, I can go... I love the epic cover art on this stream. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I did the best I could. Um, oh, the one from, like, the actual... Yeah, so that is um, the actual cover art for the game. Uh, and I've covered this before, but like uh, the artist is named Jeremy Jacinto, who uh, has done artwork for other games that we've all played on this on the stream before. So if you I think you were around for this. Were you around for um, uh, Ghost of a Tale? Um yeah, Ghost of a Tale, the one with like the mouse thief little bard thing. Uh, and we played that one a little bit a while ago. Jeremy Jacinto with a J. Um, and he did most of the artwork for that too. He also did, um, I, you may have seen it. It is, it's kind of like that. I, I would have to like, I think it's, I think it's actually like J-A-C-I-N-T-O. Um, and he also did Armello, which is another like furry, like animal style game. Uh, very, very into that style of thing. So it's very well done. I'm trying to see what would be the best way to go. It looks like going this way would be good. That looks fine. Let's go with that. 
Um, I couldn't get into RMLO, but it looks cute. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really played a lot of it, and I think for the same reason, maybe you're in that. Like, it's tough, and it's very board gamey. And I, from what I understand, it's actually better with other people than it is just you. So, like, there is multiplayer to it, um, which I think might make it a little better um, overall. And I had the same problem. I had the same issue. I'm kind of regretting my choice not using controller. I may switch over to that here in a second. So give me one second. I'm going to go over to it because I'm just not used to it. You can kind of hear me playing with my cord in the background there. Uh, let me get this plugged in real quick. Hold on. That should do the trick. There you go. Much better. Much better. Okay, let's take a look at these turtles. I don't know what's going on with these turtles, but I'm very curious. It's a rock. Uh, I don't think that's a rock. Uh, this is definitely a rock. No! You are certainly this is a rock. You are certain this is a rock. I am guessing I am very wrong about this on all fronts. Ooh, this is an artist. Is this Jeremy's desk? Wouldn't that be funny if we were just talking about Jeremy and that is what this is? That would be great. Let's go. Found some paint. Ah, this is it. Godly paint. And a whole pot is small enough to carry. That's convenient. You picked up a pot of godly paint and added it to your trinkets. Great. Take enough paint. Okay, I guess I gotta go back down. I'm not sure why I want paint, but apparently I wanted paint. And that's fine, because who doesn't want paint? That's a nice little drawing right there. Stop right there, thief! You dare steal from our god? Maribel. Okay. Ooh, the nerve. Oh, the utter cheek. I'm only taking a little, and they've got loads. But that's wrong. Stealing is wrong. My mommy and daddy told me so. I'm not arguing with uh, morality with a talking rock. Get out of my way. No. Put the paint back or, or I'll bite you. Could you help me out, Siobhan? The Leem that streams is proud to support an ongoing oh, donation drive right no, here on sir, Twitch um, for the Lemur Conservation You dug Foundation. yourself into this hole, you can to dig yourself the out of it. In an awesome way and can afford it, check it out. Uh, to learn fine. More, check out the link in chat. At I the have to fight a turtle. Oh no, it's a turtle. I don't want to hurt this. I mean, the, the, the turtle doesn't have like... They're not being bad. Also, what I've learned uh, from last time is that I should be doing more like stacking of this stuff. Because I think I can stack these attacks to some degree. Or some of these like status effects can like stack a little bit more than I have been. So let's see what this does. So if I stack this again, do I get a multiplier? I'm not a rock! Oh, it does! Holy shit. Okay, so let me try that. I'm gonna swipe here. That didn't do shit. Nibble! <laughs> That's not working as well as I had hoped. Um, interesting. Okay, this guy is tough. I mean, you would think they were a turtle or something with hard shell and shit, but... That's not good. I guess what is happening... Maybe if I defend myself? Not sure. I got two, so let me uh, try and rage this. I feel bad because I'm guessing this turtle is not a bad thing. I like turtles. I like turtles! Out of my way, little rock! I'm not a rock! You are now! Uh... We'll just swipe, I guess. E. Okay, that was all it took. Poor turtle. I didn't want to hurt the turtle. You know, like it doesn't. Du -du 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 -du. Daddy! 
<laughs> Love the, what's all the fuss about? You're her father? Look, it, it, this is just a misunderstanding. Daddy, he stole the precious paint from the gods and then beat me up. Oh, did he now? Uh-oh. Hm, another wannabe hero, is it? You put on a cape and think that gives you the right to pilfer things from houses and beat up little kids? Uh, no, that's not... I mean, she started it, but... Siobhan, you're good with words. Help me out here. Uh, I wouldn't dream of interfering, Sir Verm. This is your side quest. You've got to believe in this. You've got this. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. Fight number two. Daddy Turtle it is. Oh my god, I love I love the top hat. That is amazing. Love it. Rage, let's go. Your daughter is a menace. You know that, right? Little Manabelle is an angel. I love these characters. I think that's what makes this game so fun is that the characters are so well defined and they just like give them such great personality and the writing really somehow like portrays that and it's so good everything about it's so good and uh i love it so let's do this that did nothing ow you're you're a little turtle dick is what you are ow you know if a turtle bit you that would be enough you don't see enough of that i agree <laughs> It's so good. I love everything about this game. Um, let's do this really quick. Like, I think this game does such a good job of like defining the characters and giving you cues without giving you a bunch of like backstory. I think the only character we've had like a ton of backstory on was Verm at the beginning of the game with his brother. But even then it was more like just, it was less exposition dump as it was like just Kind of an intro, kind of giving you kind of an idea, but it's so well done. Uh, let me rage this. I cannot, so I'm just gonna swipe. Take that, turtle. It's not doing that much more from like a damage perspective, so I'm just gonna stick with what we got. I feel like I'll probably get through them enough. I bet mom is the major player in this family. That would be my guess. Mom is probably the badass that we're going to have to really fight. I bet. Whoa. Careful where you swing that thing. You could take someone's eye out. Do I really need to come over there? Uh-oh. You've done it now, lad. Yeah, mommy's going to kick your butt. Uh-oh. Mommy's huge. I heard everything. Stealing from our gods, brawling and yelling in this house. You're being a bad influence on my little Maribel. Yeah, a bad influence. Siobhan, this one looks tough. I would really appreciate some help with this. <laughs> huh? Oh, it says here that mushrooms are closer related to us animals than they are to plants. Isn't that peculiar? Yeah, that's bonkers, all right? The things you learn from books. I know you can hear me, Siobhan! Uh, okay, fine. Let's get this over with. <laughs> oh, you're huge! Bomb is huge! Oh my god. All right, well, that's good. Let me just go. Let me let me start here. You know, I love the glasses like it's it's meant to be like markings on the face, but like they're like they're like mommy glasses. I love it. It's great. Damn, she hurt. Holy shit. Wait, hold on. Mom hurts. God damn. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's not good. Oh, God, I might be in trouble here. Ow. OK, hold on. Mom! God damn it! Hold on, Mom! Wait a second. We don't need to get out. Okay? Mom is a problem here. This is a problem. I may die. Ow! I'm just gonna have to go for it. Mom! Hold on. Hold- hold- no! Hold on! Mom! Mama! 
Mama, no, mama. Mama, no. Mama, no. Holy shit. I might die. No, mama, no, no, no. Oh my God, please don't kill me. Oh God, oh no. Oh, I'm still alive somehow. <laughs> this is rigged, so, oh good. <laughs> Oh, man. Mama almost killed me there. Almost totally killed me just now. Mama is something. I didn't realize it was going to be so bad, but that is uh, that's something else. Wow, you are quite something. Maybe it's time for us to get serious. Yeah. Maybe. But then again, this mouse has only taken a very small pot of paint. Perhaps it was wrong of us to intervene. You may pass, Mouse. But stealing is wrong, Mommy. Maybe so, little Maribel, but sharing is right. Our God has so much and this mouse takes so little. Who are we to deny him? So, I'm free to go? Of course. <laughs> All done? <laughs> Grand, let's go. Okay. <laughs> All aboard. I don't know what that was about, but I loved it. I just... That, that's what I'm talking about. This game takes the medium in which it comes from and then really like really plays into it so well and i love everything about it because like that whole sequence was completely unnecessary but i loved it we persuaded the gloaming woods outside of sky garden however despite our best efforts we were bested in combat by the vagabond and his party then the mission was a failure I'm afraid so. I deeply apologize, your majesty. I will not falter again. So much for all the Trimble God's finest. Thank you for your report, Rosaline. I'll do brief you and Maisie later. Dismissed. Blade Master, your majesty. Wheeze! Louise! Wait, isn't that the uh, advisor from... Holy shit. I love... I love... I think the, the art design is so good. Because, like, this character is adorable. Louise! Like, the oversized jacket. Boy, I'm so unfit. LOLOL. Why the pigeon taxi rank so far from the palace? You'll need some of them saddle bag services or something. Well, well, well. If it isn't Law Master Evan of Sky Garden, the law score people at the university, as I recall. Don't hail, old man. I path a path. Okay, lol. <laughs> Why are you here, Law Master? Um. Oh yeah, <laughs> lol. Sky Garden been invaded. Huh? Invaded? <laughs> LOL, yeah, crazy time. Mm, I may have to slip away, but it looks like Duke Joss was dethroned and eaten, LOL. Eaten? This is no time for LOLs. Who was invade who was the invading army? I mean, I don't know. It was more like a bunch of randos. Like, there was this red squirrel harlequin. Um, an albano dragon rat criminal, and who else? Um, some noble mole with fire magic. Oh yeah, and some edgy vagabond mouth with a big ass sword and no tail. See what I mean? A dull ragtag party, am I right? <laughs> LOL. You need a full, we'll need a full report. Return to us with details, or detailed account of the events and we'll be able to properly assess the situation. Got it. See, see you, Matthew. Peace out, old man Orphy. <laughs> I love that character. Oh my god. Uh, shit. 
<laughs> was not expecting that. What a foul mess. I never cared for that oafish duke. But I'm going to look incompetent if I let my king's cities be ransacked so easily. And by whom? A gang of marauders? The old mouse description matches from Greenbrier. Letter from Rosaline's investigation. One may deduce that this is the same path. This vagabond is fast building a dangerous reputation. We underestimated him. Well, excuse me, we underestimated him? Was it not you who suggested that I ignore the vagabond, Leo? Well, yes, I acted on... Spare me your excuses. You offered bad counsel. Come to think of it, Keela was the only one to warn me of the true dangers of this mouse posed. That is true. However, why did we even remove Aquila from the council in the first place? Because they experimented on... By the gods, shut up already! I will make this right, your majesty. Indeed you will. Go! <laughs> Lawmaster, can, Leo judge, can Leo's judgment be trusted? I witnessed his vigilance at Sohin. I saw his fine needlework at the 300th Royal Journey in Vinium. There is no doubt Leo is the epitome of chivalry and chivalry, a knight among knights. Your mother thought so too, but she called Leo the greatest blade master since Artura. Even the finest blade eventually dulls. Summon plague master Aquila. Your majesty. Evidently, the rat's insight holds value. The pardon is in order. Blade Master! Oh, wait, that's the big guy. Man, he looks pissed. Hold thy tongue, Sir Steve! Sorry, Sir Diego. We're back! Bloody old England. This station is Marina. Hope you had a pleasant flight. He kind of reminds me of, um, what was it, like, the Rescuers? And, like, the, the Seagull? I don't remember their names, but there was, like, two of them. There was one in the first movie and the second movie. And I think they were both basically the same character, but, like, one was the brother of the other. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. So I, I don't remember the name of the character, but it was like one was played by John Candy, I believe. If I remember correctly. We're back in the sewers again. Can't get away from these things. Oh, hey, it's a, a vagabond mouse and a noble mole. You are firm and Lady Siobhan, correct? Yeah, field mouse with a thimble guard. Get up. You must be Leo. Blade Master Leo, the Needle Knight. The Blade Master Leo? Yeah, I got no doubt. He's exactly how you know, I imagined. You know, you were my idol when I was a kid. And then that's a pity, Midi, you couldn't be under more favorable circumstances. I'm here to arrest you. For what? Initially, the charge was kidnapping a noble lady. What? I'm not kidnapped. And Siobhan's no lady. <laughs> but now I understand that you were both integral agents in the recent coup at Sky Garden. I wouldn't say integral. That's treason all the same. Also, word in the tunnels is that you're plotting to assault a god. Word in the tunnel travels fast. That is high blasphemy. An impressive list of crimes for a common vagabond. I fear I already know the answer, but duty compels me to ask. 
Will you come quietly? Oh, uh, depends. Uh, depends. Will I get a tra fair trial? All trials in Rodentia are fair, are they not? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna decline. <laughs> Unfortunate. Although, in truth, I was hoping you would say that. See, I'm curious. I've never seen a mouse wield a weapon like yours. It must be quite the weight. I wonder how you even managed to swing it. Let's make this a formal duel, a trial by blades. If I win, I'll let you and Lady Siobhan go. That's that simple? And I have your word? Of course, my honor as a knight. But if you lose, not a chance. Very well. Sir Firm, should we run? No interfering. This is just me between me and the Vagabond. Uh-oh. I'm fighting the Blade Master? Oh, shit. He's big. He's bigger than I thought he would be. All right, let's do this. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to rage. This is cool. This is going to be cool. This is going to be cool. Hold on. Get ready, Fulpus Slayer. And please go right ahead. I'm going to try and stack a little bit. Okay. I love the music. So far, the music is great. Okay. I think if I defend again... He's not really doing a whole lot. That's really interesting. So it doesn't seem like this holds up all that well, like these moves. I got five. I'm going to go for it. Now I'm going to do it one more time. Let me see what this does for me. Okay, I'm at seven, so let's try it now. Who bam! Parry! Is that all? Come on, swing harder. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that he's a badass, and I'm not gonna be able to do much here. But, it's worth trying. Oh man, he's so good. Surely you could do better than that, Vagabond. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Did you think of that? Uh-oh. We may be in trouble here, guys. Why are you just standing there? Getting tired, are we? Ha! Huh, I'm just getting started. I get the feeling I'm not gonna be able to do anything here. Something is off with your technique. Shut up and fight back! Uh-oh. Hmm. Ah, I see the problem. You have no weight. Nor do you, Pipsqueak. You misunderstand. If you fight for nothing, then your strikes will always lack weight. Shows what you know. I fight for plenty. Show me. Well, I'm not doing a very good job. Let me defend, I guess. Quit standing around and come at me already. In good time. I like this character. Again, I find myself really enjoying this character of Leo. I think it's very, very interesting. Uh, I, I can't, I can't fault this whole like thing. I can't fault it. It's so good. He's too good for me, though. He's too good because he can parry everything I do. Oh, I broke his sword, huh? Interesting. Do you concede? Concede? Vagabond, I've killed warriors and worms, blade masters and vulpes. To put down a whelp like you? Half a sword is all I need. Oh, he's so badass. That is such a good, like, depiction. He's about to kick my ass. I can tell you that right now. He's about to kick my ass so hard. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I can tell you that right now. And I listened to that right there in the background, that like one note, that one note piano thing is building tension and it kind of like drifts. Hello, Mala. How are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm doing well. I can't complain. I'm really, really trying to dig into what I like about this game today. And I'm really trying to like describe it. I'm really trying to like play into it. But like, I love like the way the character, 
Uh, the way the character is posed, the, Leo is awesome, by the way, a very cool character. And we're really showing like a dichotomy between these two characters where Verm is very, very hot headed, very like reactive, can control this weapon and nobody understands how he's doing it. But it's pure rage. He has no control over it. Whereas, like, Leo's just like, man, I'm all about control. You're not going to be able to stop me. You can't beat me. Uh, what's happening? Leo just got told off by the king because we took over the Squirrel Kingdom. And Leo is Verm's, like, boyhood hero, but is out to arrest us right now because of the whole Squirrel Kingdom thing. And he's about to kick my ass. I'm going to tell you this right now. He's about to kick my ass so hard. It's not even gonna be funny. Like it's gonna be bad right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend. Oh my furry goodness, what's got your tiny tail in a knot? Maladabala, <laughs> did you lose your favorite nut again? Maybe I'll join you on your quest to find it, or maybe not. <laughs> Theo, God damn it, that won't save you. Uh oh. Oh oh oh. Four hundred ninety six. Seven. Oh. Did you just stab him in the eye? Holy shit. Am I dead? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Wait a minute. I wasn't expecting to get that violent. Sevem! He is tough. He didn't deserve that. No, you're probably right. Then... Why? I think that is supposed to happen. No, I know that was like a- that was a stage scene. I know, I know the whole thing was, but like, that was really cool. It was well done. I wasn't too different from that mouse when I was first knighted. I blazed with righteous anger. I drew my sword at any injustice, big or small. But I quickly learned that unchecked rebellion only burns those around us. Better to stamp... <laughs> at Malada Bala 5001. Uh-oh. Looks like our dear Crispy Lemmer just can't resist teasing you. But hey, who am I to judge? After all, we're all just newbie poo waving our way through life. Newbie poo? <laughs> New poo waving. Oh my god. Better to stamp out the spark while it's still young before you can engulf the whole kingdom in flames. What happens now? Now? You come with me. Any common mole would see the guillotine for the crimes you have arrested in. But you have a friend in a high place. They've negotiated a plea bargain with the king. A friend in high place? Mammy? Plague Master Akila. I have no idea what uh, that conniving cur wants with you. Just pray that you don't end up as one of their operating tables. Let's go. But what about Verm? He got stabbed in the eye. <laughs> Ow. I guess. Oh my God. What just happened? Holy shit. Your game has been saved. Oh no. Autumn? Wow. We just moved on. At least he, uh, at least he knows what he did was harsh, but he also is a knight. Yeah, he, he did a thing. He did a thing, all right. My goodness. That took a turn, though. That took a turn. I mean, this game is um, more... Um, more violent than you would think. Like, I didn't really expect it to be that way, but it is. Ah, disc. Where is that assistant? 30 seconds late, most unsatisfactory. I bet it's Siobhan, I bet it's Siobhan. I mean, uh, that mongoose was a cannibal. I think it was a, it was a stoat. It was a stoat, and yes, very much so, into Vor. You're late. Sorry, Plague Master, I had an errand to run. An errand of getting a new hat, vital activities. 
you so you noticed like straight not hiding it no definitely was very much into had the thing and it was very entertaining so oh you noticed i love the hat i just had to adjust the style to the pyromancers of the days of artura i know the pyromancers were an all-male organization but i thought well spare me the essential the apologia you know my views Gender is arbitrary, meaningless, just a detraction from what which truly matters. Science? Exactly! We must pursue knowledge no matter how repulsive or blasphemous the truth we may uncover may be. Thus we shall continue to work on our dark hubristic project. Behold! <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Right, the mouse droid. Uh, it's looking good. Savon, please pass me the screwdriver on the far left. All right. The far left. That's got to be this one. No, the other left. Sorry, my bad. That would be the right, but you picked up the screwdriver. You want this? Thank you. It's strange. Half the city thinks your experiments are something sinister. That you're mutilating bodies trying to create some unholy abomination. Of course they do. It's easier to blame the Boogie Mouse of Academia than to acknowledge the true causes of society's ills. The screwdriver on the far right, if you please. No, the other actual right. You picked up the screwdriver. Thank you. I have principles. I have ethics. You want to see a scientist who does not know where to draw the line? Go to Whitehall. Go witness what the gods get up to there. The smallest screwdriver, please. Why do I get the feeling he's lying to me about that? Oh, he was right. All right. Very good. Whitehall. That name is familiar. Don't distract me. This part is delicate. See, if I cross these two wires, then... Ah, it is active. Lo loading. Oh, wait, I've got a thing for this. Hold on. Hello, world. Listen, only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. Why, so, hello, Mr. Mouse Droid. Just saying. This is amazing, Plague Master. You've created life. This is life? Hello, world. No, I am not so naive to be fooled by such superficiality, and nor are you. It's clear what we've created here. A puppet. A toy. Barely a simulacrum of a simulacrum of life. Hello, world. Just looking at this pitiful thing fills my stomach with disgust. Savan, destroy it. Des destroy it? But we just spent a month building it. I don't care. Get it out of my sight. I have to fight this thing? Oh, shit. Well, here we Oh, no. I don't want to kill it. We seem so nice. I don't want to do that. That sounds horrible. Hold on. Oh, let's overclock this. Ow. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, he just pooped. Eliminate bot. Well, it's a nice spot. I don't want to hurt it. It seems so nice. Ow. I'm trying to see what this does if I stack this high enough because I'm understanding that you can stack this shit really high. And it looks like I regain most of my abilities from that syntax air. Oh, I feel so bad about this. This feels horrible. Okay, so we're at 8. Let's see what that does. I'm gonna go to 10 
and see what happens here. Oh, this feels wrong. It feels so wrong. Okay, so we're at 10. And he's really hurting me at this point, so let me, uh, let's do this. Oh my god! <laughs> Siobhan! God damn it! <laughs> Jesus! Waffless. Totally, utterly waffless. You're being so harsh on yourself, Flag Master. Look at how much we progress we've made. You can revise and design and try again. A Rothan's life is short and pathetic. The gods have lifespans 100 times our own. They have time to make mistakes and broaden their knowledge and grow. But we don't get a second chance. We scramble in the dirt for every pitiful second we get. Plague Master, I, I want to ask. About the yellow god, I keep telling you, Maridia's prepared. I mean, no disrespect, but how exactly? If Duke Josh's prophecy is true, then a deathly god is coming to Merida. Even every rodent in the city will be in danger. But we have no plan. We don't even know the date. Prophecies are for fools, and Duke Josh had nuts for brains. But even a cracked bell can ring through. Once per year, the gods turn their clocks back one hour. Heavens knows why the gods love their peculiar rituals. But in any case, the result is a night with a witching hour. A night when the clock strikes 13 as it were. 13 chimes? From what I've translated of your godly papers, the pamphlet something foul may indeed be approaching on that date. And when that happens, Excalibur will predict the palace. Excalibur, the mythical sword? Would you like to see it? Hell yeah. I would. I can show you, but there is one condition. What sort of condition? A rodent's life is short and pathetic. And now, and I am a very old rat for sure. My bones crack, my senses dull, tumors infest me. I want to live to see the end of the I won't live to see the end of the winter. I'm I'm so sorry. Don't be death is inevitable. But the knowledge of science need not perish with our bodies. When I pass, I want you to continue my work. I want you to pick up the mantle of Plague Master. Me? You are astute, capable, scientifically minded. I can think of no anyone better suited for the job. Except, and I will reveal to you the secrets of Excalibur. Hell yeah, I accept. Well, I... Don't be hasty and dwell on it. Exactly, go ahead and take the rest of the day off to give it your proper consideration. You give me your answer tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Plague Master. Um, uh, am I free to leave the city? Oh, people to see? That's fine, consider it an act of trust. Thank you, Plague Master. I'll be back soon. I bet she's going to see Verm. I bet she goes to see Verm. Let's go find out. It's gotta be Verm, right? Hello! Who are you? Uh, sup, Savon? Uh, hope the Plague Master's not working you ragged. <laughs> Alright, bye. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Leo's been training extra hard recently. Don't know why. It's not like he's lacking in skill. Well, that's a good question. Let's see what's going on over here. I'm absolutely convinced there's a secret badge in the spell at palace, this place. I can smell it, but nope, I can't find it. I'm going crazy. Well, maybe. Oh, hey, it's you. Ah, little Savan, you must let me take you shopping sometime. That outfit is unbecoming. Oh, I'm good, thanks. It's cheesecake! Lord Cheesecake, open up doors and refuser of kisses. That's a shame. Hmm, there's something odd about that page. <laughs> I found a key! 
Oh my god, and I'm nude now. <laughs> oh no, I found a key though. Let's see what this one's about. A possum with pale earring. Who is she? I don't know. Luz, the que capo multe grande, the unflusterable priest binger. Uh, hey, what's up? So, you know Blade Master Leo's sword, right? I thought it was a one of a kind holy relic. All natural. All natural indeed. But then I found a, uh, I found a closet, like, with a dozen of them. It was a surprise! <laughs> oh no. What's going on in here? Hey, what's up? Nice hat. Looks, uh, proper meiji. Perfect. That's what I'm going for. Can I steal the stuff out of this? I want a possum with a pearl ring ring. It is really a good painting. Hey! Uh, really, Siobhan? You should know better than that by now. Sorry, I got curious. Curiosity killed the koipu? Don't you know? I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. I'm out of here. Alright, so I got a key to something. Is it this one? Oh, no. Wait. Sheath Halfdale, frontier explorer of the Emerald Marshes. Sir Hamilton Flint, tamer of Titans, champion of the Wayward Star. <laughs> I love this one. Oh, Skybound and Vlenter, the maddest of lads. He is the maddest of lads. You're cute. Look at that. Sir Gale, sharpshooter of the Thimble Guard, heroic defender of Two Tail Pass. Adorable. Adorable. Hello. There's another door here. Hey, I remember you. Oh, it's all cute. Brian Brainson, Stephen Traveler and Trinket Connoisseur. Sir Theo of Rings a Lot. Theo! They, they share your name. They're way better than you, though. Look at that. They got a sword and a shield. You got nothing. I don't know if you can hold up to that. Sir Oscar the Mighty, small in stature, unwielding in spirit. Who are you? I saw a noble ferret messing with a painting earlier. Ah, did they leave something behind the frame? A key, perhaps? Oh, nice. Must be part of one of them alternative reality games. Have fun. <laughs> Cornflower the Childish. Now, I didn't realize this because I think we did see this in one of the previous episodes, and it's Cornflower the Childish. And I'm curious if that is named after um, a character in the Redwall books. Um, I think it was like the initial book or like... I think it was Moss Flower? Is that what it's called? Moss Flower or Red Wall? No, I think it was Moss Flower. Is the name of the book. And there was a one of the characters in that book was named Cornflower. And I wonder if that is the inspiration of that. That wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me. Where does this key go to, though? That's the question. There's nothing in here, is there? No. A noble ferret. Huh. Have we met a noble ferret before? Hey, what's up? It's you two! I know you're close with the vagabond. My condolences. Cleo's swordsmanship is flawless, and know that there was nothing uh, you could have done. Ugh. You and your pals in the woods got me and Rosie right in trouble. Got out of my face. Or get out of my face. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like... I've been waiting on the promotion for ages. Maybe that new hat will bring me luck. One with a cool rim like yours. That's a pretty nice hat you've got there, though. My dear Magnus returned to Venom Baron's duties and whatnot. All right. That's good. Hey, you're dashing. Look at this guy. I'm taking the scissor girls out and scouting mission today. Rosalind, I can handle, but the younger ones are right, Brad. God's give me strength. <laughs> I don't know uh, how's or wise, but the Scissor Twins got a demotion. They're stuck in Alex's squad. It sucks for them. That is a shame. I'm going to go see the king. What's up, big guy? Thou bears the stench of the Plague Master's lab. Dost thou bear their depravity too? No. Here's Siobhan, right? <laughs> I think you'll find him one day. Maybe. We'll do our best. 
We're going to do our best. You used to run with the Vagabond fellow. That's me. He is a dark soul smog. He does look cool. I like him. He's a pretty... I'm, I'm scared of him. Because I'm guessing we're going to have to fight him someday. Fight, sorry. Yeah, we're going to have to fight him someday. I, I agree with you on that. I heard all about that duel. You're so lucky. Not many people seem to get Leo's needlework up close like that. But also, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I briefly met your friend. He seemed like a good guy. Yeah, he was. Sorry. It's all right. Stay safe out there. Oh. Do not test me, little mole. Thou art to know better by now. All right, my bad. <laughs> Is that a Dark Souls reference? He might be. He might be. I don't know if that's true or not, but he might be. Okay, so it clearly isn't anything in here. So let's go outside, I guess, and see what's out there. What's up, guards? You're working with Aquila, right? Phew, wouldn't want that job. Alrighty. We open the portcullis when we see you coming, Savan. Thank you, appreciate it. You're so nice to me. There's a boss named Ornstein uh, and Smog, and now um, or none of them have armor, or one of them has that armor. Oh, nice. Maybe that is the case, then. That could very well be true. What is this? That cat looks like a tiger, a tiger who's chucking up water. Good observation. That's a good observation. Hello! Hello! The launch ring is a slippery slope and to graffiti. Theft and murder. Keep it moving, citizen. I love this big ass freaking like Atlas rat. You know, this giant range. You know, it's it, it's amazing. I love it. Ratless. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Ratless is in your way. You can save the game with Ratless. Hello. Oh, let me see if I can do something. Oh, I, I ruined your game. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, sucks to be you, kid. Oh, look at, look at. Siobhan is the best. Oh, nope, nope, nope. None of that. Nope. Big no. No, you don't get it. This is my ball now. Mine. No. 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 You don't get that. No. 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 Big no. No ball for you. That's a no. Hey, what's going on? Things are so expensive these days. Can't get not a half a seed. That sucks. Okay. Hey, you're still here. Everyone's still here. King James is single, right? He's kind of gross, but like, you know, for a billion seeds. <laughs> Whispers are spreading about some god of death coming to Merida. That figures. Not so much to do. Sit tight and enjoy a front row seat of the apocalypse. Okay. It's good to know. How are you? Howdy. Um, hello. Don't I mean, just looking around. Alrighty. They're just doing some art. Wait. Who are you? Hi. Who's that? Wait a minute. How do I get up there? Aha. Maybe. Can I not? Oh, can Siobhan not do that stuff? Oh, no. What? That, that's a shame. Fresh coffee. Three seeds for a cup. Oh, no thanks. I'm just browsing. Well, I won't charge for that. Alrighty. That's good. Hello, Siobhan. Uh, do we know each other? That's not important right now. Shouldn't you be meeting with your friend in Sky Garden? Oh, right. Am I going to Sky Garden? Is that my plan? Didn't know that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fashion. Fashion, please. I love this guy. <laughs> Drip King. Yo, that's an amazing killer brim. Thanks. That hat is amazing. I love it. Good to know. I found my way up. All the shops are downstairs. It's only storage and houses up there. Well, that doesn't mean you shouldn't go out there. 
Dude has a puffer on. He's amazing. Oh, look at this guy. You got that palace whip about you. Undercover guard or something? Maybe. What are you going to do about it? Heck. Commit no nuisance. I might. What will you do if I do? Hey. Okay, what's in here again? I forgot. Oh, yeah, it's you. My rent's gone up 3,000 seeds a month, and I still don't have a loo. <laughs> okay, the music in this, um, in this area has to be influenced by Final Fantasy IX. So if you don't know Final Fantasy IX, I feel like this, the music in this section is so very much like the initial VV sequence. Um, oh, it's you. I forgot about you. Nice hat. Thanks, nice hair. Oh, this, I grew it myself. Never played nine, it's great if you haven't played it. I love it. I think I'm being hustled. You are. I'm hustling this sucker. <laughs> oh, could we still do music? I've been wearing my voice out, so no singing today, doctor's orders. Come back tomorrow. Oh, that's a shame. There's a needle in that haste. <laughs> I just got the joke. Oh, it just occurred to me what the joke is. Oh, no. I just got it. Okay, are you still here? What's going on, little girl? Oh, cool, a wizard. It's literally a needle in a haystack. I love that. We have work on our paws, bloody to make rent. Meanwhile, high and mighty nobles get rich off our sweat. Tell me, how is that fair? You tell him, Bree. And the king is uh, even doing anything about the y upcoming yellow god crisis? Nar or is he busy buying shiny new weapons for the Thimble Guard? Yeah, here, here. Um. Did you say yellow god? Yeah, we've done some of our homework. The Yellow God of Death has been seen across Rodentia. And he's gonna lay waste to our beautiful home city if we don't do something. I fear you might be right. Do I need to go say hello to them? Maybe if I go after him, hold on. I can't go up there. I'm not... Siobhan's not much of a climber, apparently. All right. I guess Sky Garden it is. Hey, what's going on? I received a note from the Plague Master. Order me to let you through. Not that it matters. Delinquents like you would sneak past anyway. You're right. I would. <laughs> oh no, this is where Verm died. Died as in definitely dead, 100%. There's no question about it. Hi, it's you. One half of the bin busters. I ain't seen you for ages. Where's the other one? The mad, the little mad lad. Um, well... Ah, no worries. Bird knows no where not to pry. He's definitely dead. Definitely 100% dead. Where are you traveling to? Sky Garden would be grand. Not trouble at all. The basket's all set, so hop in when you're ready. All right. All aboard. Hey, all aboard. All right, we're in Sky Garden again. We're back here now. All right, here we are. Here we are. Thank you, Dizzy. How much do I owe you? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, new management over at Sky Garden has me on the payroll. It's pretty good, actually. Don't ever mind going back to freelancing. The new management? New management? Wait, which Sky Garden, though? That's the question. Is it this one or is it the old one? Is it this one? 
Oh, they got the flowers and stuff. How's it going, buddies? Welcome back to Sky Garden. Stay a while. You got it. The vandalized base of a statue. Despite its damage, the gold sheen shines on. The podium glimmers. Save your game. You got it. I will. Abso-frickin-lutely. Your game has been saved. Saved, I tell you. Sky Garden was never like this before. It's uh, like a breath of fresh air. There's only one prisoner in the dungeon now, but sorry he asked for no visitors. I see. Who could it be? Oh, what's up, dude? Anything particular in your after? Um, no, just browsing, thanks. Yeah, I don't really need anything right now. I wonder who's in the prison. Can I go in the prison? I cannot. Okay, that's a shame. That's a big shame. Who's in the prison? Who's in there? Is it is it the old captain of... Ooh. I remember you. Now that things have cooled down, I started my vintage dress shop. You don't wear clothes. That's weird. Here, take a ball. Oh, they kick. Oh. Oh. Ah. Do they all do it? Hold on. Do they all do it? Wait. No. Give it to... No. Huh? Yes, they all kick! Oh my god. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I love it. Uh, you like the new decor? Matilda, Samira, and me put it together. That's, that's great, you guys. You did great. Looks beautiful. Oh, it's my bat, dude! I forgot about you. He's so awesome. Little details like that help build the world. It's amazing, and this this guy is awesome. Drop by any time for a free concert. Drop by any time for a free concert. You got it. Is my oh this a, oh god? It's conspiracy squirrel. Have you ever heard of Excalibur, Merida's top secret weapon? Only the top brass of the deets. <laughs> my theory: it's a giant fella day. They keep chained up. I believe you. Believe you. Anyway, let's go up. Bruce! Is that Bruce? <gasps> Bruce is not wearing his thing anymore. He's wearing... Oh, he looks so handsome. Look at Bruce. Bruce is so handsome. Oh my God, Bruce. You're so handsome now. On to the next order of business, then the scouting missions. Give us the good news, when? I've been asking around at the water vole camps along the south river bank of the King's River. Nothing to report. No leads at all? I did meet a ragabone shrew who suggested the Vinium Circus. There's whispers of a strange gladiator making the waves there. A raging musk wolf is rumored to believe is to be believed a small and vicious fighter, a titan killer, but wait, a raging what? Aye, that sounds like a lad. Where's Vinium? Somewhere over here, a mid-sized shrew settlement. But really, Bruce, this is a weak lead. Let's stop and think things through. Um, hello. Oh, Siobhan, it's Siobhan. It's been so long. Aye, we missed you. Word in the tunnels that you're working for Merida's Plague Master now. How's that working out? Oh yeah, it's all right. Aquila's a bit intense, but they're actually quite nice. I'm learning a ton. I see, well, I'm glad you're safe. There's a lot to catch up on. Where do we start? I show them that thing, Lapa. Oh, yeah. We found something amazing. Come upstairs to the armory. Hey! What about the round table? Ah, that can wait. Come on, Siobhan. Okay. Anton, you're coming. Unbelievable. Meeting a John, I guess. Bye. Oh, this isn't the armory? I'm gonna save anyway. Kristoff, the follows the star. Save your game! 
Do you mind if I yes? Oh! Ta-da! Check it out! A god sword? A god sword that's seen better days. When we heard the news of the duel be the bloody bridge, we decided to check the King's River. Dredge the waters, search the banks just in case. We didn't find any sign of life or a body. We did find this on the southern bank, some ways downstream. Is it... his? Difficult to say, but with all the rust. If it is, then it's possible the wee lad washed up on shore too. In which case, he might be alive, aye? What do you think, Siobhan? You witnessed the duel. Could Firm have survived? I... I really don't know. But I understand why you've been searching. If there's a flea's chance, then it's worth push pursuing, no? Exactly. We owe it to them. Nothing but bad leads and dead ends so far. We're chasing a ghost. You know, I could fix this. If I heat the blade to remove the rust and add some new paint, it'll be as good as new. Well, that sounds like a nice gesture. But it takes a lot of heat to temper godly steel. I need a godly forge. That's tricky. Nothing like that around these woods. I know a place with an impressive forge. Whitehall. Yeah, your hometown, Gwen. I cannot ask. Relax, it's fine. I can handle it. All right, I'll trust you. Want to come with me to Whitehall, Siobhan? Right now? Um, sure, why not? Gwen, you uh, said the lightest lead was in Venom. I'll follow that thread myself. Two new locations have been added to your map. Yay. Hey. Hey. Are you leaving on another adventure, Lopper? I'll come too. Nah, babe. I want you to stay here and uh, help with the round table. I don't like how you leave me behind, Lopper. I'm sorry. I didn't want to put you in danger. It was my fault you got locked up before, and I'll never forgive myself if it happened again. All right. But come back alive or I'll kill you. If safety's an issue, why uh, not take your mask, Bruce? That lousy thing? I burned it. It didn't hide anymore. Just uh, worry about yourselves, all right? Gwen picked up the you, rusty god yeah, sword and added watching. it to your trinkets. You. If you have not hit follow, no point in dwaddling. Let's head it? to the taxi station together. Good luck. Level up! Damn, I leveled up from a conversation. Perfect. That's perfect. That's what we want. All right. I guess I have level ups now. One thing... Uh, shoot. Hold on. All right. There we go. Um... I have points to spend. All right, let's see what we got here. So I got I got two points for you guys. Level up from talking. It's the perfect scheme. You know what I mean? It's perfect. All right, let's see here. You got two. All right, so it looks like for you, the best thing would be this. I'm going to go this route. Perfect. Like, I love... I, Bruce, I love Bruce's evolution here. This is just like in Oblivion, right? 100%. It's 100% Oblivion. I love the character designs, and I love it so much. I, I, everything about this is so good. I think if I do these, this will be good for you. Does that mean that I can equip Bruce with new stuff now? Hold on. I mean, that's if I even have anything better which I might ooh yeah this is be I can now beautiful perfect alright alright so Bruce can wear armor now I love it I'm still wondering if I can go I can't no okay never mind I was wondering if I could go into the prison, but apparently I can't, so... 
And look, Bruce still has his wonderful walking animation. I love that so much. With his little hands on his hips. Uh, so It's so adorable. Where am I going? Oh, we gotta go here. That's why. Hi! Welcome back! You're with the SD crew now. Where's the... Where to this time? We're going to, uh, two trips if that's okay with you, Dizzy. Oh my days, you're trying to kill me. Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing. Where to? Uh, Verinium Whitehall. Do you know them? I know Vinium, Shrew Settlement. It's crumbling god building, eh? But Whitehall's new to me. That's alright, I can point the way. Alright, then everybody hop in when you're ready. All the board! Let's do Whitehall first. Alright, let's do it. We're off to Whitehall. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at this little guy. You sure this is the right place? Looks like a billion other god dwellings. It hides its ugliness well, but I knew that stench anywhere. This is Whitehall. Thanks a million, Dizzy. Good luck with, uh, good luck with you both. I'm off to Vinium. I'll circle back to pick both of you up in a little while, all right? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, how do we get in? The building is secured tighter than any I've ever seen. The doors are electronically locked and the windows are bolted shut. The air itself is filtered. Not to mention the gods coming and going. Can't even get my, my strawberry without getting interrupted. Right. <laughs> Point is, Whitehall is not a place where rodents are meant to just casually enter or leave. Well, how did you leave in the first place? Couldn't just backtrack along that path? I was hoping not to, but there might not be a no there might be no alternative. Oh, wait, okay. Is Whitehall like like a laboratory where they did like animal experiments and that's where Gwen comes from? I'm kind of getting that vibe that Gwen kind of comes from like a place like this where it is like a human, you know, place. Ah, uh, yep. How about this weather? Forecast proper stormy and all. Not that we do anything about it, of course, so I'm just going to carry on eating my lunch. That's good. It kind of makes me think that, like, this is a place Gwen comes from, and it's like a lab where they did stuff to animals, which is kind of sad. There's an under-river passage beneath this grate. Hold your nose, there will be quite a uh, god filth. Huh. Yeah. Not my first time passing through under-river patches, though. Ah, uh, well, this'll be a breeze, then. What is that? It's a pewter statue of a, route stri a rat striding with confidence and grace. The plaque reads, Re uh, Rhiannon, the prisoner, the wanderer, the mother. Rhiannon walks free. Save your game. Will do. Your game has been saved! That's odd. This place doesn't smell like the usual underriver. That's the stench of Whitehall. Blood and bleach. Hmm. Ah, there it is. That sound? See that pipe? That'll take us right into the heart of Whitehall. The music sounds lonely yet engaging. It does, actually. It's very nice. But these walls are too slick to climb. And it's too high to jump. We'll have to go the long way around. Got it. I'm on your tail. Okay. We're going the long way, guys. Gotta watch out for this stuff. Okay. Bam. Bam. The music is good. I think the music's been really good. Are you all right? Sorry, the smell is making my head spin. Yeah, the chemicals will do that. Take a breather. 
blood and bleach. Just what kind of place is Whitehall? It's difficult to describe. In some ways, it's a paradise. The white god who runs the hall provides for the residents. He gives us endless food and clean housing. Oh, I get it. It's like a pet dwelling. It's not quite right. Gods give us freely to those called pets, right? But this relationship felt more transactional. For the moment of my birth, we owed what Sir George called a divine debt. So we have to obey the gods, follow their commands, perform their tasks. If we didn't, Sir George wouldn't get mad. Sir George is the town's vessel, the leader? Ha, he likes to think so. But nah, just my ex. <laughs> Bugs are prowling, let's not, let's mosey. I love, like, Gwen is such a good character too. There's something very, oh. Is there a reason for me to go? Let me see if I can, nope, that's not it. I guess I should have gone behind them. Oh, we're fighting bugs. Okay, that's cool. Um, who's up first? It looks like it's, uh... All right, let's overclock. Rally. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, so let's do... I'm guessing you're the stronger of the three? I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Ow. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm gonna let you overclock. Get those uh, skills up a little bit. You know, do what we gotta do. And then what we should do is try and take these guys down a peg. Ow. They actually do kind of hurt a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love how slow he moves. <laughs> it's perfect because that's what a slug would do, but it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, keep going, Shabbat. Are you not doing it? Okay. Alright, let's keep the, uh, sword break going. I'm gonna keep going with this overclock because I think I can just de devastate all three of these guys in one second. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna shield break you. Ow. Ow. Uh-oh. He's coming for me. You feel like I could dodge that, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like Siobhan could probably dodge that. He's like, she's like, kind of like that Austin Powers scene where, like, the guy sees the steamroller coming at him. But it's, like, so slow and he's just sitting there going like, and It's like 10 seconds before it even reaches him. It's amazing. Um, okay, let's try this here. Whoopam! God damn, Siobhan might be OP. I'm just gonna say Siobhan might actually be OP. Maybe. There is also another way I could go. I remember that scene. Yeah. It's a good it's a classic scene. Uh-oh. I should fight. Wah! Do I have to take on all of you at once? I might have to. All four of them? Uh-oh, it's the bug squad! Well, they're coming for me. I kind of feel like I probably should have gone that other way. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that might be true. Um, okay, let's do this. Well, bam Ow! Ow! I feel like this might be a good thing. Kablam! Ow! I love how- I love the details in this game. They're so good. Because I just love how slow that is! <laughs> it's so slow, but it's so perfect. That's how it should be, but I love it. It's amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and do sword break on. Uh, let's do you. Yeah. Youch. Youch. 
Oh, they're defending. Okay, so let's do another overclock. That gets me up to five. That might be enough. Yow! Wow, that guy actually kind of hurt. Alright, well, Siobhan, show him what's up. Spread fire, go! BAM! Goddamn. Siobhan is scary. A little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Siobhan might be a little scary. I kind of get the feeling I may have gone the wrong way. Like, I kind of think maybe I should go in there first. I should have. I was right. Oh! You found an avarice spider. Was not expecting to find a spider. That would be scary. That would be a little scary. Damn, Siobhan! Even, like, base attack is, like, too powerful. I'm gonna destroy this thing in, like, one second. Yeah. You would think that Verm is like the, you know, main killer of this story, but it looks like it's Siobhan, really. <laughs> you picked up an insect part. Why? Gross. Why did you do that? <laughs> do you add it to your trinkets? A spider in a chest. Where else would they be, I guess? I don't know. Okay, let's get out of here. I did go the wrong way initially. I should have gone in there at the beginning. But at least now I know where I'm going. Mimic? It kind of is. It does have, like, a mimic feel to it, for sure. Excuse me. Spider creep. Creep me out. Do they? They creep. I hate spiders, too. I'm really bad with spiders. We were playing um, Lethal Company on Saturday with Hi-Fi and uh, 1UP Milo and uh, Akira Ojiba. And they have, like, big gigantic spiders in that, too, and it was the worst. That was the worst thing. Like, by a long shot. Let me go see what's over here. Oh, okay. I gotta watch out for these things. I can't go that way. Ah, shit. Hold on. I need to get to that chest somehow. I'm guessing I go this way. Uh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's a little... Okay, it's a little bit of a maze here. Hold on. Okay. That can't be good. Uh, I may have broke the game. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have we done? Oh, no. What have we done? Oh, no. Oh, no. What have we done? <laughs> um, well, that's a bit of an issue. Um, yeah, we may have found a glitch, guys. We may have found us a glitch here. This could be a problem. Um, well, what do I do? Uh... Can I do anything? I don't know if I can do anything about this. This is like playing Ark. Is that buggy as shit too? Is uh seems to be a thing here. So what if what what have we learned from this? Um Oh boy. I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. Oh wait, I fixed it. Okay, there we go. More pipes and chemicals. My heads are spinning. We're nearly there. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I just need a minute. So, uh, sounds like you and Sir George had some friction. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Your body is not your body. That's what Sir George would say. See, if the gods wanted to take something from us, it was not our place to complain. 
take something? Oh, you know, fur, blood, organs. One day, I woke up to find they had taken my legs. Oh, that's what happened. I crawled around on my belly like a worm. But then the gods gave me a set of metal legs instead. Sir George said I should praise for each generous gift, but I felt differently. So next time I saw the white god, I bit a chunk out of his hand. Whoa! I figured if that godly bastard wants to take my body, I damn well will, I'll damn well take his. I bet Sir George wasn't happy. He called me a twisted dragon, a sacrilegious freak. He told me to give up my legs and beg the gods for forgiveness. F that, I thought. I used my shiny legs to walk right out the door. That's really rough. I'm sorry, Gwen. I never missed George. He was a dick. But it was hard leaving my friends and family. Still, I have no regrets. Leaving was the best choice I ever made. It's how I met you and Bruce, right? Yeah. I'm feeling good. Let's finish this. All right. But what about that? What about, what about the thing up here? Can I just not get that? How did I even? Oh. But there's a chest. How do I get to the chest? I'm wondering trying to get, oh man, hold on. Can I get to it even? I don't even know if I can. Shit, well, that sucks. I missed that chest. Damn, okay. Hopefully there's a way to get around here. Hello, I want to fight you. I shall fight you. You have no chance against me. Siobhan, destroy them. God damn. She's like, yep, you're dead. Soup up. God damn. Wouldn't have guessed. I mean, I kind of figured Gwen had a bit of a, you know, sad backstory, but like, god damn, that sucks. Oh, go, 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 go. Ah! All right, here we go. Go! Got it. How do I get... Oh. Hey! It's lunchtime. Johnny, hey up! Johnny Cormelotti's the name. The ladders are my claim to fame. Just finished this here beautiful ladder for convenience and safe travel. Tunnel access accordance with underground under river standards. See for yourself. That is nice. What do you think? It's perfect. Johnny, this ladder is sublimed. Yeah, all fixed. Ain't it just? You know what I say, a job worth doing what is doing worth slowly and carefully. All right, see you later, Johnny. Thanks for the ladder. By the by, Saban, can you swim? I don't know. I've never tried. Let's go find out. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this takes me back to somewhere. Oh, it takes me back to the beginning. Oh, did I want to do that? I don't know if I did. Well, because I want to see if I can get to that. Um, I want to see if I can get to that chest. Not sure if I can. Yee, that was close. Like, if I wanted to get to that, maybe I need to go this way for it. Dare I try it again and see what this is actually supposed to do? I think it bugged again. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, hey, look, I figured it out. Okay. Oh, it was worth it. It, it gave me a coat. I'm not sure how good that is, but let's find out. All right. How good are you? Ooh. That's pretty good overall, because it is better than Siobhan's normal stuff. 
So I'm going to go with that. And we'll just take that back down and all is well. Okay, so I think I need... I don't remember where I need to go. Somewhere over here. Is it this one? It might be this one. No, that's the way we came from. So is it just down here? Yeah. I think it might be. Not 100% sure. I think it is this way. No, it's this way. Because I need to get over there. Oh, okay. I need to get over there. So that means I need to get up there. Okay, hold on. Ah, the elusive secret, secret tunnel? tunnel. It Are sure was. Hide and seek now? Yes. Maybe I'll find a secret tunnel into your heart, Crispy Limmer. Maybe I'll just keep <laughs> digging my way out of this conversation. <laughs> uh oh, Crispy. Theo's after you now. Uh oh. Better watch out there. Theo's got his heart set on somebody now. It's almost cute. Wait, that's not the right way. Is it the right way? Wait, do I need to just go down here? Yes. Maybe? Yes. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. This is where I need to be. Hey, babe, you want to play secret tunnels? <laughs> Don't tempt him. Don't tempt him. I did say this at the beginning of the stream. I did try to alter his personality file a little bit, so he is going to be a little bit different. Um, also, I did reduce uh, the number in which the random number picks, so it's a little bit less frequent that he's going to respond. Um, I, I kind of felt like it was getting a little too much, so I'm trying something new. We'll adjust it as we go. But, uh, you know, I thought I would change his, uh, his file a little bit kind of adjust everything. Okay, so this is not the way I want to go. I think I want to go this way, but I can't. All right, let's see. Is it over here? I think I need to go into this pipe. Oh. <laughs> Gross. Oh, Siobhan. You learned how to swim. Good job. Gwen, I didn't enjoy that. Can't say it brings back great memories for me either. Come on, get up. I'll introduce you to the family. There's blood in that sink. That's a little scary. It's quiet. Yeah, I don't think there's any gods nearby. But I don't hear any rats either. This hall should be buzzing with hundreds of voices. Uh-oh. Let's have a look around. Right. That can't be good. Oh, I love this musical change. They're not here. This is Owen's house. And that one's Ava's. Reese, Kerrigan, Jack, Effa. Where is everyone? I don't know. I don't. Ooh, hi. Okay, so it's another one of these. Go Fannin, the architect, the mender, the builder. Go Fannin repairs to save your game. Interesting. So I'm gonna guess that something bad happened i don't know i'm hoping not because that would be sad but there's a very possibility that something bad happened and these voiceover games really do a number on my throat but let's <laughs> let's do it um oh man wait Siobhan, get back. Oh! That's George? That's her ex? Oh, it's a big bunny! George the Bunny Dragon Returns! Oh, Sarah Grafu, you poised Kruchad. 
<clears throat> foul mouth as ever. If you came for your belongings, I've lost those a long time ago. I don't care about that. Why are your homes empty? Where's Owen? Where's Reese? Did you push them all away with your stupid rules? I didn't make you... Or if you didn't come back to make amends like an adult, then you can take your mole friend, turn around, and leave. Tell me where they are, Sir George. You're so bloody-minded, always rebelling, never thankful. Must I drag you to the water bowl by the tail? Come and try it. I'll run you through. Um... Stay back, Siobhan. This one's my fight. Oh, man. We're going to take on the big buns. Look at his... Oh, he's got like a big scar on his brain. Oh, this is weird. Where's Owen? Where's Reese? Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ow, he actually... Okay. Where's Ava? Where's Karadegan? Uh, let's do a shield break. Where's Jack? Where's Ava? Answer me! Where's Auntie Elise? Where's little Hari? If you don't start talking, I'll cut those... I'll cut the answers from your throat. Owen, Reese, Ava. Answer me, George. Berserk. Oh, she went into berserk mode. Goddamn. Okay, here we go. Kara Diggin, Jack, Effa. Where are they? Gecko, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Owen, Reese, Ava. Answer me, George. Okay, she's going to start repeating them to herself, so I'm not going to do all of those, but I, I like the uh, concept here. So let's do a sword break. Sup? Seems like it's coming along to a pivotal duel. This is her ex, George. They are, you know, having a former lover's quarrel. Tell me where everyone went. They did not walk out like you did. Then... The hand of the white god does not discriminate. Sometimes he takes part. Sometimes he takes whole lives. Oh. But I do not presume to know its motives. I trust his plan. Donation drive right here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation. Why do you Foundation? always roll over and accept if the lot of the gods? The stream in an awesome way. Stand up and, and do something it, about it. it. Yes, yes, more, I know well of your propensity to rebel. And just look at the twisted dragon you've become as a result. Piercings, tattoos, fur dye, altering your body to your whims, throwing aside everything the gods graciously bestowed upon you. Graciously bestowed? The gods are bastards. I owe them nothing. There it is again. The dragon bloody mindedness. You're a spiteful little individual. No love for the gods. No love for others. No love for yourself. Whatever. You're wrong, sir. Gwen stands tall because she loves herself. She's not afraid to follow her own path, even if that means not being comfortable. I wish I were half the rodent she is. Hmph. So why did you return, Gwen, to mock me? Get over yourself. We need to use the God Forge. Fine. I'll fetch it. Sorry. I, I hope I wasn't out of line. You were fab. Here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Bunsen burner. I love it. What? Do what you must and be on your way. Do you know how to work it, Siobhan? I've never seen a forge like this before, but I think I can figure it out. Cracking. <laughs> Actually, 
While we're here, maybe there's something else we can make. Oh? Yeah, see, I have this idea. Hey, Bruce! I love his new little outfit. It's- he's so handsome! Look at how handsome he is! Binium, mind the gap! We have to cook Siobhan. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, right? Cheers, Desi! Good luck with your search, I'll wait around. Uh, maybe go find some shelter, eh? Alright. I don't know where I'm going ex- I'm going in there, Vidium. Oh, it's a little- oh! <laughs> what is the little- Okay, Vidium. Labadur Laudarius. Oh my god. Oh, the little old shrew guy. They're so small. Okay, welcome to Vidium. Uh, if you come here for the games, the Circus Mimis opens a couple of hours. Actually, come here to find a mouse. Oh well, none have come to Reese. Maybe ask you around. God, I love Bruce's walk. He's amazing. These guys are so- What is the toys for all? The city looks like it's been scary- Sacred ground. Uh, you friend, the gods haven't stepped a foot here for years. That's a relief. <laughs> I love the little sucker. Oh my god. Mad hype for the city circus tonight. The Sherry and Suze is gonna be bear sick. Bear sick? Why did Bruce take off his mask? Because he he said in uh, earlier in, in the episode, he was basically like, I don't want to... He doesn't feel like he has to hide anymore. Like, he, the only reason he wore that before is because uh, red squirrels were, like, shunned. And he doesn't feel like he has to hide anymore because he took over. So he's in good shape. How do you know a mask called... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> the door is locked. I don't see anyone saw it anyway. I'm a, but nothing I can't shake off. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I hope everything's okay, Gecko. Mushrooms! Mushrooms for sale! Uh, do you know about a mask called Vam? Nope. I know my mushrooms, though. I do! Uh, do you know that fungi are more closely related to us rodents than those are to plants? Nah, no, I didn't know that. Alright, that's good to know. What is this about? The statue to picture a mentor or a member of the shrew pantheon this must be um at dodge ne Nedio, the deity of wisdom and transformation oh it's like sailor moon <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh no oh no okay well that's good to know how are you kids Everyone loves Tenebra the Nightbringer. There's the Blade Master channels in the battle. And of course, we can't forget Viridia, our city's Gecko patron. Gecko, with your interesting choice of words, are you summoning the great Sinork One Praise Loaf to bless us with his meme mastery? <laughs> or are you just trying to confuse us all? Either way, you've got my attention. That's good. You got Theo's attention. Uh oh, Crispy. He might be uh, detracting from you. That would be bad. I don't know. I suppose any of them mice. No, but the Blade Master is, does it count? I might do. You look interesting. You seen a mouse around here? He's kind of small. Where's the cape? Mice don't work so well. You describe his voice? Uh, my bad. He sounds like a... Hold on, let me get into character. Oi! Uh, Verm. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm hopping mad, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna find the yellow god and stab him with my sword, and that's because I'm uh, compensated for my wee height. Wow. That was good. I really got an impression of the guy. <laughs> but no, I don't know him. I love the building designs. They're really nice because it's like a little toy place, right? It's like little toy houses. Like, little, yeah. That was cool. Ooh. Hi! You're a mouse or a rat or something. I'm looking for a mouse. Have you seen any shop here recently? One or two, what are they wearing? It's got that Lego feel? Yeah, it definitely does. Rags and bandages, most likely. It really does. Darling, this is a spoke high-end hot couture fashion boutique. 
If my customers walked out the door wearing rags, then I have failed in my duties. Ah, fair point. Nice kilt, by the way. Thanks. It's a. Uh, it has a sparin. <laughs> I love Bruce so much. He is such a great character. We put plastic roofs on plastic houses, plastic trees, and uh, plastic floor. Our lives have become plastic. Fetishize, uh, simulacra, forgotten reality. Small wonder we lust for the grounded, violent delights of the circus. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, you know any wee angry mouses? No more than I know myself. Great. Hey, what's up? This land used to all be under the thumb of the eternal golden loyal empire. But that legacy burned with the great fire trial seven half centuries ago. So it goes, mayhaps one day the blue rat monarchy will succumb to the same fate. Haha, <laughs> yeah, politics. Change the subject. Do you know a mouse called Vem? I don't. Maybe ask Quintus. He's a good people finder. Bruce gives that sir, this is Wendy's vibe. Yeah, he kind of does. He has this very, like, good good natured sense to him. I really like him. Uh, okay, who's Her Herma Rodius? I love that the little, like, I think they're shrews. Um, they kind of got this, like, Roman thing going. So, like, I'm not one of those conspiracy theories, but but the way Quintus keeps sweet-talking the Baron, it's like super sketch. Who's Quintus? Uh, he's the big shot entrepreneur who handles the farm, the imports, the guards, basically everything. I say, that's no Verm. You're right, that is definitely not Verm. We're still prepping the arena. Come back tonight, though. It's uh, Chariot Tuesday. <laughs> I'll say you some Sanctum. What? A what? Hi, you don't know what a sanctum is? It's one of our famous oversized shields. Tourists love them, but I don't blame them. Look at the fine, true craftsmanship of this beauty. Uh, it's got the golden laurel insignia, a metal boss of, of extra protection. You could buy a hundred and form a centuria. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? I am. Don't do that. <laughs> so, what do you say? 15 seeds? Well, I do have it, but I'm going to say no. That's a lot. Hi! Uh... Hello? Uh, should you be here? Uh, probably best to just leave him be. Yeah, I'm gonna say leave him be. Who's over here? <laughs> oh, it's Quintus! I've a, I've a traveler! Uh, they? You're not from around here, are you? Well... Ah, but you know ordinary tourists come here for something particular. I see it in your face. No need to be shy. What are you after? A long shot, but I'm looking for a mouse with no tail. Kind of scrawny, a little edgy and violent. I see, I see. I got a farmer who fits half your description. A tailless mouth. He's not violent, though. Quiet and diligent. Keeps to himself, mostly. Are you looking to buy him? Wait. Buy him? I'm not in the damn slave trade. Good grief, me neither. Owning slaves is a heinous and very illegal activity. You and I are merely capitalists who are discussing the exchange of consensual worker contracts. Right, sure. I, can I see him, this uh, worker? Of course. Caveat emptor, so they say. Follow me. The one you want is uh, tilling soil at the far end. His name's Ghost. Ghost? Fitting title, he was half dead when I fished a poor boy from the river. Anyway, I'll be waiting. Let me know when you're ready to make the purchase. Till the Romans didn't have any industrial revolution since they were so dependent on slaves. Well, apparently these shrews also are. So, that's good. Hey, it's Aquaman! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god they're like part of the pantheon i get it like it's like it's like little toy oh my god that's so clever like little toy action figures become like the gods of like the romans you know what i mean that's really good that's really good i love it
Is that- Hey, is that a gecko? Gecko? Don't mind me, bud. Just doing a little digging. All right. Is that verm? I think it's verm. Woo. Almost clock out time. Verm? Verm? Is that you? Bruce? I can't believe you're alive. Nay, I can easily believe it. You're always the toughest of cookies. But you look different. You've grown. You've grown up. You look like a completely new mouse. You've changed too, strutting around without a mask. No more mask, I'm done hiding. What are you doing here, Bruce? I made a promise to you back in the Ashen Tower. You help me reclaim the Oaken Throne, and I'll help you find the Yellow God. Remember? Yellow God? I'm over that. Over it? Just like that? When I dueled the Blade Master Leal, he told me what I was fighting for was nothing. I thought he was just spitting fight talk at me at the time, but I've had plenty of time to mull it over since. He's right. I had no cause. Of course, you had a cause. Yeah, you still do. Trying to kill God isn't a cause. It's just a mindless lashing out, like a weak old pup throwing a tantrum. At least here I'm contributing to society. By farming mushrooms for a slave driver? It's something. You're welcome back any time, fam. We've all missed you. Thank you, Bruce. But I'm comfortable here. There's no convincing you, eh? No. Okay. That's sad. Poor, poor Verm. He's like broken. I feel bad. Where's my... Aw. That's the one sees him. Says him? The hell is this? Scariest Vulgaris. That's what you are. I knew the moment I saw your blazing fur. You're kind of very much a rarity in these parts. Crowds will pay top seed to see you fight or die in the circus minimus. Are you serious? I don't... Do you know who I am? I know exactly who you are. You're top billing. The star of the show. Guards, escort this gladiator to the arena. You're going to regret this, you damn slave of Bamport. Doubt it. Ave octe vale, traveler. Uh-oh. Hey, ghost, still working? Yep. You're going to clock out? You know it's well past sundown. Quintus gave us free tickets for the circus. Might break open a cap of wine, eat a popcorn, and watch some death matches. Self-care and all that. <laughs> Want to join us? There's still soil to be tilled. But that's Chariot Tuesday. There's a guest gladiator. It'll be fun. Maybe next time. Suit yourself. More wine for us. Hey, Jeb. Who's the guest gladiator? Some squirrel. An exotic one, apparently. They're calling him the Red Barbarian. Whoa. Badass name. Think he's got a chance of beating the champion? Haha, <laughs> no way. Uh, Ensign Grimm is unbreakable. Come on, let's grab some from those spots. I leveled up from tilling, I guess. I don't know. Good. That's good. Let's see where we're at on all this. Oh my god, Verm. So he survived, I guess. He did survive. I'm going to have to pack up this dumpling. He doesn't have a weapon. Interesting. But I got some skills I can spend. Interesting. Oh, yeah. He did lose an eye. Oof. Rough. That's rough stuff. I love the little sucker, though. That's great. There he is. 
tonight's entertainment has been disappointing. Two thumbs down, Quintus. Yeah, Baron, please have patience. I have a special treat in store for the finale. Oh, a squirrel. Oh, uh, with red fur. Oh, but is this another ruse, Quintus? Like that time you dipped a gray squirrel in red paint? <laughs> you know it's making. You know they're making a gladiator too. I think this is the script right here, actually. <laughs> Yes, I do know where of that. I know, I, I'm, from what I understand, Pedro Pascal is in it because Pedro Pascal has to be in everything now. So, yeah, they're definitely doing that. Uh, it'll be interesting. I'm always a little um, hesitant. Uh, love the movie growing up. I love that movie too, but I'm always hesitant with movies where like the sequel or prequel or whatever it's going to be happens or comes out that far after the original movie like it always feels a little weird to me when that happens but it could be good i mean you know uh the the director is amazing so it could be good we'll see not this time baron this is a genuine article the real mckay as it were the actual scariest vulgaris interesting I was under the impression that the squirrels of Clan Red perished aeons ago, but then the Red Squirrel became the ambassador of the Sky Garden. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of the genuine well, good movies Lemmer, I enjoyed like lately. A tough time um, finding movies that tickle your fancy. Maybe you should stick to watching your own shenanigans on stream. Because let's <laughs> be real, that's probably more entertaining than anything Hollywood has to offer these apparently, days. Apparently, apparently Theo agrees with you. I I don't know if I. I don't know if there has been no good movies that came out recently. I, I would have to think a little bit. Um, I genuinely oh, thought... Crispy Limmer, an emoji oh, wow. would have sufficed. I'm glad you <laughs> took the time to type out law, just to let us know how amused you are. We appreciate your dedication to expressing your laughter in the most innovative way possible. Truly groundbreaking. <laughs> um, I guess, like... I haven't really seen a ton of movies in theaters recently. Theo, the movie critic, right? I haven't seen a lot of movies in theaters recently. I think the most, maybe the last one I saw was Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which I did thoroughly enjoy. I did really thoroughly enjoy that, but I usually, I haven't seen one out of, yeah, I really haven't. That's a good point. And now you tell me you have a real red gladiator. It's quite the coincidence. Tell me this, where did you find this gladiator? Well, you know what they say, Magnus? There's a lot of fun movies. Oh, yeah, for sure. Dukant Valerum Fata, Non Lentum Tree Hunt. Really? Who says that? Let's move on. Oh. Release the Red Barbarian. Ow. Poor Bruce. All right, Bruce, you can do this. You survived dozens of fights. You fought those bugs and jaboas and krakens and nightwings. There's nothing they can throw at you that can't handle. Release the imp Imperator. Oh. Ah, smashing. Excuse me? Coming through. I say, get out of my way. Oh, it's Verm. Oh, hey, it's Ghost. You made it. You saved your spot. Come on. I'm not here to spectate. Oh, they want me to give it the oh. You found a brick. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, here comes Bam. I knew I wouldn't die today. No guarantees yet. Let's fight through this together. I. Am I gonna fight with a? Br I am gonna fight with a brick. You know, it works. It works. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. Uh, let's do this, I guess. I'll squash you like the bug you are. Okay, let's do... Ooh, I got a new thing. What does this do? Heals all allies. Ooh. Nice. Ah. 
how many uh, things do I have? I got this, so let's go for it. Lego brick. I'm just gonna Lego. Lego bricks do massive damage when I step on them. Makes sense. They're the perfect weapon. The fuck did they get a scorpion? They went far and wide to find this poor guy. You know, the scorpion doesn't want to be here either, but there it is, I guess. Uh, let's go with the... I got one star, so let's just give that a go. Sounds about Roman, yeah. It's like their tiger, you know? They went, they went and found a tiger, or was it... No, it's like a lion. They would find lions. Whoa, I had no idea Ghost was a gladiator, right? What a twist! Always the quiet ones. What Ghost is doing in the ring? His job is to farm, not to fight. Interesting choice of gladiators, Quintus. But two versus one, hardly a fair fight. Ah, an excellent point, Baron. We should even the odds. How'd you end up in this mess? Your pal, the slaver, liked uh, the look of my face. Thought I'd make a good deathmatch entertainment. Then maybe you should have worn your mask. With support of friends like you, why would I need to hide? <laughs> uh, you're infuriating. Romans wiped the entire herds in North Africa of elephants, giraffes, lions, and everything in the, for the Colosseum games. Yeah, they were horrible. Like, a lot of people have, like, really favorable... I guess they get portrayed somewhat favorably in a lot of ways. Um, but the Romans were kind of kind of shit. Um, especially, like, coming off the Greeks, which had a lot of issues, too. Now, the Greeks did a lot of great things from, like, intellectually so, but, uh, yeah, the Greeks had a lot of problems, which is why the Romans were able to, like, take over, uh, and it kind of transitioned to that. It's, you, know what, you know what it kind of is? <laughs> like, from Greek to Romans, it, it's kind of like we went from, like, the American liberals to, like, the conservatives. And, like, the liberals, but, like, super far liberal. Like, beyond, like, freaking, like, you know, like, the, the tankies, basically, right? We still have a lot of Roman influence in our Western culture. We sure do. Um, but I would say, like, that's kind of what it was like. It was, like, Greek went from, like, super tanky liberals to, like, full, far-on, like, nationalist um, right-wingers. It's kind of like that. Roman Catholicism. Yep, that's where it comes from. Wait a minute. Did you deliberately capture oh, to go me into action? Glad to see you embracing your inner cowboy with that gee. <laughs> let's be honest, you're more of a ring-tailed lemur than a rugged ranch hand, aren't you? Yeehaw, partner. Wow, he knew! He knew! Social media driving people nuts? It definitely does. Pe Social media is weird. It's nice and it has a lot of good things to it, but it does cause a lot of problems. For sure. Boldly you to assume I plan ahead. God of gods, give me strength. Eyes up, lad, it's round two. Uh, they're just set. Oh, round two with two scorpions. They have a lot of scorpions, apparently. Well, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, so I should go this route because it gives me the double move. And then I got this, so we're gonna go cleave on you. Bam! That's pretty good. Ow! Ow! Okay, so I can do another. Let me defend. And then I'm gonna go with you and do encore again. Okay, he gives me the two, so let's go cleave. Take this guy out, let's go. Bam, all right, yes. Ew, I'm stunned. You stunned my mouse. How dare you? Uh, let's go this. Hopefully he unstuns, because that would be kind of a waste of a move. If not, but that's all good. Okay, cleave. Now. Okay, good. Perfect. Let's go. He's still alive. You only have one. Let's whack. All right. Perfect. All right. Go, ghost. Yeah. Go, ghost. Go. 
This is a disaster. Ghost is killing my prize imperators. The mouse fights like no clan I've ever seen before. But you evaded my last question, Quintus. I asked where you found the squirrel. Ah, uh, well, you know what they say, Magnus. Nemo tenetor se ipsum or cure, sorry. Who is this day and uh, who is saying these things? <laughs> hey, Bam, I owe you an apology. For what? Getting me caught up in this death arena? No. Well, yes. But also for everything that happened at Sky Garden. You were clearly hurting, and I just went and dragged you into my mess. I was selfish of me. It's fine, I chose to get involved. Besides, you were hurting too. Oh, I was, but still. Look, I enjoyed the distraction. As long as I was swinging my sword at a foe, I didn't have to think. But that's not a good thing. It was just like Leo said, I have no weight, no values. Yeah, would a warrior with no values throw themselves into a den of imperators? Maybe a warrior who wants to die. For someone who wants to die, you should have a knack for surviving. Oh no! Oh my god! So many bugs! I'll squash you like the bugs you are! Alright, we gotta do- we're gonna have to do this again. But what I should do... What I should do is, now that I got Encore, let's just rage the fuck out of this machine. Let's- Let's rage against this freaking machine, because I should get to go twice. Scorpions, indeed. Ow. Don't- Don't you hit my Bruce! I, I, my Bruce is my friend. Maybe. All right, let's try this. Kablam! Uh, I got three stars, so let's do this again. All right, let's go rage here. I can't. I don't have enough things, so that's fine. Let's go you. Let's kill you. Damn, these guys are tougher than oh, I got. Oh, I got stunned times two. I've been so stunned, I can't do anything about it! Um... Two, let's go here. Beep, 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 beep. Bop, ba, da, beep, bop, boo. Okay, got two stars. Let's go cleave. Uh, let's do that. Oh! Oh! Verm! Killing it with the freaking Lego! And you're right. You were right. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Gecko. They are dangerous. If you step on a Lego, then you know how dangerous they can be. It's very true. All right, let's swipe against it. This guy's got to be close to death. Listen, only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. How? So I can see why you're not there. Everything's Just fine. Saying. Let's defend. Damn, they both went after poor Brucey there. God damn. Uh, okay, take him out. Okay, so let's go Encore here. Oh no, Bruce, they stunned my squirrel! Bruce is stunned. Well, that sucks. As long as they're both not stunned, I think we're okay. That should do it. Oh, okay, perfect. Who knew Lego was so strong? There goes my last Imperator! That mouse is really such a wild abandoned. He's... what did you say? Ah, uh, yes. The GOTY Contender, Gladiator of the Year. But the squirrel still concerns me. Quinter, speak plainly. Who is he? Baron, Baron, you worry too much. Perhaps bringing out the champion would sweeten your sour mood. He's the goat. He is the goat. Exactly. The goat. The goat. Hey. How's Siobhan and Gwen? 
They're doing fine, and they've missed you. Why not come and see them for yourself? I could. I want to, but... <laughs> oh, right. Chariot Tuesday. Eh? Looks like we'll be racing the champion. We better figure out how to drive this thing fast. The champion? Are they strong? No question. From the strand stands, uh, I've seen her tear apart the Imperator barehanded. I bet it's the cat. I bet it's the cat we saw. She ain't an Imperator? Just what kind of Titan is she? There's no time to explain. Get in the chariot. Friends, rodents, country mice. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Let's unleash our undefeated champion of the Circus Minimus. The Blade Master of Vinium. The bringer of the night. Insengram. The Moose Wolf. Oh, that is not... That is not what I was thinking, but that's cool. It's freaking Mouse Wolverine. <laughs> Hugh Mac Mouseman. Is that who it is? Hugh Mouseman? A bit of a tight squeeze. Maybe we should swap. Shut up and floor it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She's gaining. Can you get any faster? No idea. I'm sniffing out these stupid pedals. <laughs> Guess I'll help out the only way I know. Hey, give us a signal if uh, she tries to pull anything tricky, all right? A signal? Uh, sure. That's dope. This is dope. This is amazing. I love this. This is awesome. God damn, this is great. Okay, let's do this. Uh, oh, the music's so good. Must Wolf, huh? More like Must Pup. You're stamping pretty loud from Danny. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what is this about? Okay. Uh, well, that's not good. Uh, let's do this again. I really like the detail where your farmer buddies show up occasionally in the stands. They are there. Oh, they are right there. Go, go, go. <laughs> I love it too. It's great. That's amazing. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Um, nice. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna defend. I have a plan. Okay, and then that gives me, should give me two. It did. Okay, nope. Cleave. Bam! Oh, 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 ram. Oh, shit. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, it's fine. Let's just go swipe. Okay, I think that means I should defend. I got two. Let's go here. Yeah, let's go rage. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 cleave. No, I can't. Go. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. This is so funny. I love this. This is amazing. I love this so much. Uh, okay. So I should probably... All right. Let's just attack. Okay. Took my defense down. So I'm going to defend. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's do this. E ooh. Okay. I'm going to defend one more time. It does take my rage down a little bit when I do that, though. Got to be careful with that. Nope. Cleave. Go. Get him. Bam. Oh. Freaking Verm for the win. <laughs> I 
Oh. They took out Instagram. You do. You put on quite the show. Please grant us with the honor of you hearing your names. I'm not a ghost. I'm no gladiator. And I'm no mushroom farmer either. My name is Verm, and I'm the mouse who will slay the yellow god. And I'm Bruce. <laughs> Ambassador Sky Garden. I I Ambassador? By the by, that wee turd put me in chains and dragged me in here. Do us a favor and apprehend him. Quintus! You captured the ambassador of the Sky Garden and forced him to participate in the circus games. Are you a slug brain, you total dingbat? Have you any idea how bad this is for our political relations? B -b Baron, this is all a big misunderstanding. You know what they say. Enough of your grammar school quotes. Get wrecked, Quintus. <laughs> Soldiers, arrest this man. We'll figure out the sentencing later. Uh, what happens now? Well, I think I'm owed compensation for my hardships. I mean, after that. Oh, I'm going to meet up with Siobhan and Gwen. You should come join us. Uh, I don't know what we can do about the Yellow God, but we can still work something out. Something wrong? I need a new sword. I can't be fighting off whatever horrors lie ahead with a brick. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get the, out of this death arena and we can work that all out. Bruce, thanks for coming. What a friend's fool. That's sweet. This is sweet. Sir Bruce, ambassador of the Sky Garden. Sir Verm of... Um, Just Verm is fine. Verm. <laughs> After Baron of Vinium, you have my most sincere apologies for this terrible blunder. I understand that no physical gift can uh, ameliorate the suffering you have endured. However, as compensation, I would like to offer you this. A key. A house key. Huh? When Quintus was arrested, his ill-gotten property was seized under the laws of civil forfeiture. I am entrusting you both with ownership of Quintus's abode. Well, one of his many abodes, I believe he used this building for surplus wine storage. Does this gift suffice in adequate compensation? Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Can't I complain about getting a free house in this economy? <laughs> Let's sign uh, it under your name. What do you say to that, Verm? Yeah, it's fine. No hard feelings. So, what's gonna happen to that slaver? I'll see you to it that Quintus' punishment is sweet and fitting. Rest assured, he won't get off likely. And then, who uh, gets his mushroom farm? Uh, like his house that was confiscated when he was arrested. What happens to it now is a civil matter. You're the Baron, aren't you? You're the guy who makes these decisions. I want you to give, uh, give the farm to Jeb and Alfie. Who? The farm workers. Oh, right. Quintus's boys. I'm not convinced those two farmhands are capable of managing a corporate enterprise. Are you serious? They've been running the farm for seasons. They're far better qualified than the clean pod dweeb like Quintus ever was. Well, maybe I have a point there. But the business is owned by its workers. It's an odd notion. Unprecedented even. If uh, Verm trusts these guys, then I trust them too. Get it done, you but you bureaucrat. Compelling. Fine. I'll see it done. <laughs> Great. I think we're all settled then. I'll see you outside, Verm. Okay. How are you? Quintus arrested a farm that owes itself. Vinium is changing. Maybe for the better. Good fight, man. I appreciate you playing along with the key fab. Fans love the whole must-wolf gimmick. <laughs> That's nice. What's this? Dear Orfincus, our, your last level troubled me. I, I too believe that such a fearsome weapon, tr weapon truly exists. Still, I ran the numbers. A full evacuation, although expensive, is feasible. Perhaps the king can be reasoned with. He is seriously a mouse wolverine, basically. Hey! That letter is not for you. Oh, well, I already read it, so too bad. 
So, I'm guessing it was one of these houses. I remember one of these was closed before. Not you. Are those guys in here? They are! Hey, what's up, guys? You leaving? You're gonna... We're gonna miss you, bud. Make sure to drop by sometime, alright? Aw. There's a crazy rumor going around that the farm's getting signed over to me and Jeb. Do you know anything about that? Not a thing. Huh. It is. Oh, their, their lives are about to change for the better. What is with you? Careful, Verm. That Fela Day looks pretty nasty. This one, she's harmless. Uh, just an old fuzzball that shrews around. Uh, the shrews, or fuzzball the shrews keep around. Her ugly mug scares off the outsiders. Wakey, wakey, half sight. Hold Dars wake. Oh, it's you, Quintus's boys. Not anymore, I'm free. Good for you. Go enjoy the sun on your snout. Try not to get eaten by a bird. Bye. But why, pray tell, did you wake me? Uh, I'm just wondering. Um, your, your scars. Your scars. Sweet kitty. Yeah, right? Uh, none of your business, mouse. Fair enough. I'm just wondering. Your diet. What do you eat? Uh, the shrews are nice enough to give me with the bodies of their falling gladiators. <laughs> oh no. In return, my person tax is a deterrent for any other titans who would want to dare invade Vinium. It's... what's the phrase? Symb symbiotic relationship? Uh, just like douche, Duke Josh and Lamia. D's dark null. Dark. G's dark. Yeah, it is very dark. Uh, am I right, Verm? Huh. Was there something else? I was just wondering. Your collar... I'm curious, why do some Philidays have collars and some don't? Did you lose yours? I did. It's a strange thing for a Philiday to lose a collar. I would have thought that collars would be a symbol of oppression, no? Depends on the Philiday. For some, collars are shackles. For others, they are fine jewelry. For me, my collar was a memory of a former life. I'll keep an eye out for it. There's no need, but I appreciate the thought. I'm just wondering. I think that's it. No more questions. Good kitty. Good kitty. What a good kitty. I think there is one of... The, it must be this one. Change the carpet? Oh. Oh, this is my house now. Hey. Neat. How neat is that? What does this do? Ooh. I can like, wow, what does this do? Oh. Twilight? Oh, I kind of like that one. What's uh, elegant? I don't know, Twilight it is. I'm going with Twilight. Let's go Twilight. Can I do anything else? Mount something on the wall? What should we put here? Champ replica painting? Oh, hey, 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 change the bed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bear boxes, wooden steel hammock. What's this one do? Ah, it's pretty, pretty normal, right? What does steel look like? Ah, it's pretty kind of cold looking. I kind of like the hammock idea. Ooh, yes, that's, that's, that's verm. Verm all over. Yep. Corn? <laughs> Fancy chair. Hell yeah. Hammock is best, I agree. Yes. Uh, oh, hell yeah. This is my little house now. Love it. Love it. My little home. My little, little side of paradise here. You found a bottle of okay wine. It's fine. Remarkably unremarkable. Great. That's what I wanted. Neat. I have a house. Guys, we have a house now. I love it. I've never felt so at home in my shrew kingdom. My Roman shrew lands. All right, do I leave now? Is that the plan? I should look around a little more. I don't want to miss anything because I think we did miss quite a bit. Hey, what's going on? Has there ever been a hero worthy of worship? Doubt it. 
There's ever been one. They won't be brandishing a sword. I know that much. That's good to know. What do we have here? Oh. It's a philosophy book titled De Regnum. Translate into common tongue. Read it. Socrates, then I ask you this from where your tyranny come from. Ratonius, from an overindulgence of a good time. Socrates, how can that be so? Ratonius, have you ever not heard the creed, dear Socrates? Or Socrates, good times create weak mice. Weak mice create hard times. Hard times create strong mice. Strong mice create good times. Volus sounds fashy. <laughs> Socrates, now, now, Volus, let's us remain civil. Ratonius, what is a strong mouse? Ratonius, one who possesses the courage and capability to do good, like Sir Mathwell, when he valiantly slay the devil of Amarillo. So Socrates, or so Socrates? I feel like that name changes every time. So a strong mouse has the strength to hold a sword, but also the moral fiber to point it in the appropriate direction? Precisely. From where does such a mouse learn swordmanships and morals? From an excellent teacher, I suspect. Like myself? Well, I see. But I thought, would a strong mouse not require a good diet too? After all, a hungry mouse cannot fight or think rationally. That is true, Sir Mathwell. Purportedly ate seven cheese wheels a day. I see, I see. Would cheese wheels and good teachers be available in good times or hard times? Good times, obviously. You ask too many questions, so great. Get your damn rebuttal ready. Oh, I have no rebuttal. But I merely thought that if, as, as you say, that a strong mouse requires a good teacher and fine food and such things are abundant in good times, then it logically follows that strong mice are born from good times, not hard times as you originally claim. A cynic might even suspect that a creed is merely rationalism for tyrants to leverage hard times to justify the subjugation of so-called weak by the so-called strong. Get his ass. <laughs> That was very clever. That was very clever. All right, what's going on in here? I feel like we have been in here. You see a book called Nora's Fall. Read it. Shrew Empress Nora was born in the twilight years of the Golden Laurel Empire, a shining area corrupted by scheming, plotting, and selfish actors. The citizens of Meridium demanded respite from their squalor, but Nora had none to offer. The mice are so hungry that they even ate their thatched roofs. The Empress lamented, is there nothing we can do? The noble rat named James saw an opportunity in the despair. He wiped or whipped up the common folk with dreams of revolt and planted seeds of doubt in the Senate by questioning Nora's sanity. On the late summer days, tension came to a boil. Citizens pounded on the Curia doors and demanded justice. The senators led by Senator Decimus reluctantly obliged. Speaking to the crowd, James denounced Nora as the sole source of citizens' ills. He proposed that Nora assess Nor or to assess Nora's guilt, she be put through a trial by fire, an arcane test even for its time. Great pyre was constructed and Nora was tied to the center mass. The crowd wept as the flames erupted high and far, for they knew that the Emperor's death was marked by the end of democracy, of liberty, of decency. The god of gods, gods of gods agreed. They showed their disgust with the trial by feeding the flames beyond all expectations, waving them high and further into the whole city burned to ash. Thousands of rodents died and millions were displaced. The godly city above two suffered greatly. Out of the chaos, James emerged as king. Some say that Nora survived the blaze protected by divine hands. Fanciful thinking, perhaps, but we do know for certain that James' lineage is one of unearned legitimacy of unrighteous blood. Cursed by, be his name. Interesting. I'm getting some lore here. All right, you already went over this. Um, what's in here? I forgot. Oh, yeah, that's this guy's place. Can I go in here? Nope. That might be all I can do, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Need your pleats planted? Or your herms hawed? Your selvages salvaged? Come to Penelope's finest bespoke clothing creation and tailoring. <laughs> Makes sense. 
Re-elect Magnus Reberen. Slow and steady progress wins the race. Perfect. Alright, that seems good enough for me. I feel like we've explored the best we could. Oh my days! Is that the little mad lad? Hey Dizzy, are you keeping well? Yeah, yeah, never mind me. You two were taking so long I went and fetched the others. The others? Siobhan! Oh, uh, what? 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 Are you okay? I just... I can't believe you're alive. I saw you fall into the river and then... I'm happy to see you too, Siobhan. And you, Gwen. That's pretty incredible. You were just hanging around Vincium for all the... For a full season? Aye, he was falling into mushrooms, if you can believe that. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's show Verm that other thing. Already? Yeah, right now. Um, I can't wait anymore. Okay, but we're getting soaked to the bone out here. I love the pigeon bouncy and everything is still. I know, he's so great. Is there somewhere private we can go? I have a home. I have a house. Do you see my painting? It's great. This is your house? It's a long story. Nicely decorated. You've added some personal touch. Thanks for noticing. So, what's this thing you wanted to show me? Ta-da! This is... My sword. I, I, I didn't think I'd ever see it again. It was in the right state when we found it. All credit goes to Siobhan for their top-notch restoration work. The blade should be as hard and sharp as it ever was. I oiled it and adjusted the screws, too. But, sorry about the color. We didn't have any red paint, so we had to make uh, do with the lime wash. No, no. I like the new color. It reminds me of someone. Oh, that's right. His brother wore, like, the green. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even think about that. Gwen, Gwen, give him the other thing. Right, could you two give us some um, privacy for a sec? Come on, Bruce. I made you something. Well, with Siobhan's help, they're the techie after all. A tail? Right, made of steel. I won't push you to try it on, Verm. Many disabled rodents feel more comfortable when not wearing prosth or prosthetes. It's not about comfort. I just never gave the idea of wearing a false tail much thought. All my life I've been struggling. I'm used to it. I feel like I deserve to struggle or something. But that I'm better for it. But it's stupid and exhausting. I'm tired of struggling. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try, at least. You've grown a lot since I last saw you. You're still a little dwit, though. Dude, what does that even mean? Heh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Turn around. I'll put this on. How's it fit? Oh, <laughs> pretty snug. Something feels different. I bet it does. Your balance is completely different now. Be patient. It'll take some time to get used to. Weeks at least. Verm learned Nibblefoot. Or maybe you'll adapt quickly. <laughs> oh, hey. Nice tail. The gang's all back together then. What now? The seasons are changing fast. The yellow god is coming to Merida. Let's go and greet him. Level up! Oh, yeah, you just reminded me. I need to go speak with Plague Master Aquila. They said they'll teach me about the Excalibur. 
Excalibur, as in the legendary sword of Redentia? I've heard stories, but that's just a myth, no? Well, I suppose I'll find out. If it's real, we're gonna need it to have a chance surviving the Yellow God. Merida it is, then. Right, let's go. This is so sweet. This is so sweet. I love this. This is so nice. Wow. Look at him. He's got his little, like, little metal tail. That's adorable. I love it. I'm going to let Sailor Moon save my game real quick, and then we're in good shape. That's good stuff. This is good stuff. But everybody leveled up just now, so I got some points I got to spend, probably. Uh, he's got one point he can, like, use over here on sword stuff. And then, uh, let's see what you got. You got one point you can do... So, uh, I think I'm gonna go this way first. What does this do? Increase. That's good. I'm gonna go with that. And then, uh, what do you got? You got one. Uh, what does this do again? Bruce attack deals 500 extra damage if he's tipsy? What? What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Drunken Master Bruce. It makes sense. It makes sense. I love it. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Gwen's got multiple. How do you like that? What does this thing do? Okay, so I got that. Uh, we'll just go this way, or yeah, we'll just finish this off. And then I can do one more, so it looks like I can do... What does this do? Gwen's inflict three bleed. Mm, okay, I'll get to that. What does this one do? Recovers three hearts for each party member. That's pretty good. A drunken master. Shield break. Uh, effects last one extra turn. I actually use those a lot, so I'm going to go that route with it. Uh, equip. What is Verm using right now? He's, uh, he's got all his normal stuff. I need, I guess I've got to give that Grog. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're going to have to change this out. Uh, and give that to Bruce, I guess, because, uh, clearly he's going to need that. In fact, I should probably just give him both of these. Just give him all the booze. Bruce, you've earned it. Siobhan, you can carry the candy. That seems kind of apropos for you. And there it is. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe it. That's good stuff. I didn't think there would be a move like that, but I will take it. I will take it right now. All right, let's get out of here. What are we doing? We're going to uh, the main palace place. Uh, pigeon. Do you? Yeah, you. Watching. Pigeon. I see you. Bro. If you have not Let's hit go. Follow, All I aboard. Why not just do it. Come on. Let's see if there's any other like uh side questy areas I can go to. I think this is. That's where Siobhan lives. I think we've been up here already. So I want to see if there's, like, another place I can go to. That looks new. Whitehall. Okay, so we can go back there if we need to. I don't think we need to. Wasn't sure if there was any other, like, side questy areas to go to. Have we been here? Yes, that is the turtle place. So I think it really is just back. What is that? Oh, that that's the place. Okay, never mind. All right, we'll go back to Meridia. Mer Merida. I know it's like the old version of it was Meridia. The station is Merida. Hope you have a pleasant flight. All right. Oh. 
this might bring some memories back. I feel like this would be a bad... You know, you don't get stabbed in the eye and not have some bad memories of a place where that happened. It feels like this could be could be an interesting spot here. Let's see if he remembers it. Uh, he seems okay. He's fine, I guess. I may as well let you slug blades through. He only sneaks them in some other way. True. You're right. What's going on, my dude? Heck no. How are you doing? Free's been campaigning a lot lately. I support the cause, but he should be careful. The guard only tolerates so much, you know. The yellow god thing for real. It sounds like a ghost in a must wolf territory. Nah, I have my doubts, just saying. Alrighty. Let me just walk across this this thing. Are they over here still? I don't see them anywhere. Weren't they just up here before? I feel like they were. What's up, my dude? You still cooking up a storm, huh? Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, I live in a shoe. It stinks, but the rent is absolutely a bargain. <laughs> oh, this this game is amazing. I love everything about it. Love everything about it. Uh, what's going on, man? Don't mind me, just taking a break from the youngins. All 14 of them. Now run along, scamp, before I put the boots to ya. Haha, <laughs> uh, just pulling your whiskers. I had a seed. If I had a seed for every weirdo who preached about the end times. True. Oh yeah, that guy. I forgot about it. Okay. It's kind of fun seeing all the different people in here. I mean, this, this feels like a lived-in world. I love it. Hey! Uh, is it really okay for it to be wandering around like this? Eh, it's fine. Everyone, uh, thinks you're dead, for one thing. Ghost by name, ghost by reputation. I guess that's true. I doubt this place guard, or the palace guards would even recognize me. Right, uh, the palace, I, I better get moving. Plague Master Kiel will be waiting for me. Good luck, Siobhan. Aye, come to meet us when you, uh, in the Twisted Tiles when you're done. Okay. Bye. You know, I've never been to Merida before. It's all, uh, is this all there is to it? Dinky houses and sad looking people? Pretty much. Hey, Vem, don't be rude. Show Gwen around. I'm not a tour guide. Besides, I don't even live here. Ah, Vem, so humble. You're practically local. Just take her to the city center and go from there. Do it yourself, nerd. <laughs> I got errands to run. I'll meet you at the Twisted Tail in a couple of hours. Go have fun. Bye, Bruce. I love the way he walks so much. Oh, God, he's so adorable. What was all that about? You don't see what he was trying to do. Oh, sheesh. You're both so thick as mud. Forget it. Come on, let's go see the city center. Well, first, I'm going to go check out this building. Oh, yeah, you. I forgot about it. Dad's working late again. Oh, poor girl. Are you dad? Clan Grey cancelled. Sky Garden goes woke. <laughs> hmm, the Daily certainly has an angle. Oh my god. How's rent? My rent's got up 3,000 C's. I still don't have a loo. That sucks, dude. Bro, that sucks, bro. Oh yeah, Mr. Bat. Thanks to your patronage, I've saved up enough for a uni. Time to become lore master. Good for you. All right, let's go up here. Hello? Hello? Matilda of Sky Garden, go, go. What? Was I supposed to do something with that? I forgot. I think there was something I was supposed Hello, Mr. Window Person. Everyone's saying uh, we're in the end times. I'm too tired for this. I want to sleep through it. Me too, man. Me too. Oh, Sword Boy. Are you scared of spires? I'm terrified. A little why? Ah, uh, there's a giant one up ahead. A real big one with legs and fangs monstrosity. Uh, just giving you a heads up. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Really, though? Oh, shit. <laughs> Spider Squatter. Oh, hey, they're friendly. Hi. 
Uh, the spider seems to be trying to communicate. Do they want something? Does the spider want some food? Oh, offer the spider an insect part? You offer an insect part. Hey! The spider throws ten seeds at you. Well, hell well, yeah. Well, Maladabaya 5001. It seems like creepy you spider. Upon a creepy spider. I mean, he gives How me all marvelous. the Just seeds. Just be careful not to let it crawl up your leg and give you a little oh, surprise. Man. You wouldn't want to scream. The spider like sighs dejectedly. Now, would you? Poor spider. He's a friendly spider. You don't see many of those, so I'll take where what I can get where I can get it. I think there was something I was supposed to do in Sky Garden for this guy up here, but I don't remember what it was. So I don't remember. I have no godly remember here, the city center. Cool. So who's that? Well, that's uh that's Sir Chad. It's Sir Chad of Chaddington. <laughs> Sir Chad. That's Sir Chad, the muscular. Is that so? <laughs> because it looks like Ratless, the rodent who stole electricity from the gods and had to bear the world's weight as a punishment. So why did you ask if you knew the answer? Show me something else. <laughs> like what? Like, use your imagination. Surprise me. All right, follow me. <laughs> that was cool. Ratless bears his burden, save your game. That was cool. That's pretty funny. Okay. But at the same time, let's take a look at something here. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do this. Uh, I think this is a good spot to call it for the night. Uh, I've gotten, it's gotten a little late, uh, but it's a good thing we found a safe spot. So let me head over here and just do this and get to that and that and everything's good. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. I love this game so much. I think we're, we're having a grand old time, but we're going to be back tomorrow night. I am starting Spirit Fairer. Uh, we're going to be playing on the PlayStation. I'm really excited about it because I have gotten to see what the game looks like. And it looks awesome, right? Like, um, Spirit Fair looks like a really cool artistic game. Uh, I'm told it is very emotional. So if you are, uh, if you, if you don't like emotional games, this one might not be for you, but I've heard it does have some very sweet, very nice moments. And uh, I'm really excited to play it. Um, we will also be playing it on Sunday. I'm going to change my, um, my stream day to Sunday for this week. Cause I do oh, have something I got to do. Uh, you have discovered Spirit Fair. It's quite the charming game oh, where you get on. the fairy spirits to um, the afterlife. But don't wow, worry, Theo knows all about it. Off anytime soon. After all, who else would I have to keep me entertained with their charming wit and endless questions? Why can't I find this person? There they are. Okay, so, but for the meantime, I'm going to send you guys over to Dark Centilla, who's playing some Kingdom Hearts uh, with a friend, and uh, I will see you guys, like I said, tomorrow night for some Spirit Fair. So thank you all for stopping by, hanging out, chatting with me, enjoying this awesome little game uh, with me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. And give, give Dark a, a good, friendly, lean welcome. Everybody do it.